Hey everyone, Wasity here, and welcome back to Super Danganronpa Another 2. So, we are on Chapter 6. Um, something happened to them in the virtual world. I'm not sure what happened, but... The... Mrs. Kurokawa, Mrs. Kurokawa. What? Wait, 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 wait. Okay, wait. Oh, it hasn't even been a minute yet. That's that's Kokoro. That's Kokoro, right? And that's that's Mikado. That's what he looks like. That's what they both look like in the real world. I didn't read what they said. I'm sorry. I th what the hell, dude? What is? Here it is, the seventh method, returning the value to avoid. What's wrong, Miss Kurokawa? I told you not to refer to me as that name, Mikado. So, yeah, I told you. It's him. He has the hair, the tie, everything. It's him. That's how he looks. You certainly did. I'm sorry. Have you forgotten? My last name is Mitsume. If it's that confusing, just call me by my first name. Wait, what? Isn't Kurokawa still right officially? You said before that your husband and daughter were bi What's- Uh- Um, what's her name? Uh, what's her name? What's her name? Um... The girl from the first game. Her name was, uh, Kurokawa. It was something. The ultimate exorcist. I forgot what her first name was. But her last name was Kurokawa. So that means that Kokoro is her mom. What? Dude. It's been like two minutes and we've already learned like... So technically you haven't gotten divorced yet. Are you coming here to talk about such trivial things? No, never. Why does Mikado seem like such a wimp here? Right, the bug. I fixed it. You were right. And the code? It's in the USB. Do you want to test it right now? I'll give it a test. Dude, what is happening? It's not bad, expectedly. Dude, what? This is so weird. This is so weird. I know, right? And we're finally starting the line. We're at the starting line. Oh, Kokoro, I brought this month's pay in this bag right here. Sorry, I've, I've always had to pay it in cash every time. Huh? What's wrong? Is there something troubling you? No, but as always, this isn't clean money. Bro, this dude stole money. I know the security has been the worst ever since the biggest, most awful, tragic event in human history, but aren't you doing this too often? You know, hacking? I told you he was the ultimate hacker. I said this. I said this. If <laughs> This dude faked his talent, man. He's actually the ultimate hacker. If you're concerned about money laundering, I've done it quite thoroughly every time. I'm not berating you. Sorry if you got offended. Crime is everywhere these days, and I'm actually quite used to it now. Wow. This is how awful things are after what Junko did, dude. It's just that you might actually- you might get caught if you go too far. Just be on the lookout. You're one of my most important sources of research money. Wow. She really said, you matter to me. Financially. Don't get caught. <laughs> there aren't many people out there who's- who's out to invest in people like me. I'm afraid I can't, Kokoro. What? I haven't got much time left. Do you mean, are you referring to that person you talked about last time? Master Utsuro. Dude, why do all their eyes do that? That is so weird. Also, we're actually getting to see Mikado's, like, facial expressions now. This is weird. I need to meet him as soon as possible for my sake. Even if it's just an alter ego created inside a programmed world? Mikado Sunoji, the emotion you're feeling right now. Is it aspiration? Respect? No. It's awe. To be honest, I don't give a damn about the ultimate luck or anything. If I can meet him for just a moment, I'm willing to do whatever it takes. Amazing. It's a strong emotion without any doubts. Can I record your data for- Oh yeah, she... was the ultimate psychologist. Later, please. It's a bit disturbing, to be honest. What? Alright. The reason why you're creating that alter ego, your relationship with that person, that has no relevance with me. 
To digitalize emotion and analyze it, to digitally create human emotion itself. That objective of mine was finally made true by your request. And our objectives have merely happened to overlap, that's all. That's expected of our Miss Kokoro. You make things so much easier. That's why I'm requesting specifically you. So she worked with Mikado? And she died that early? How does that work? Then the framework has been completed and we should take a deep learning process with our sample data. I'll take it from here since I created the base algorithm. You sure? You're the one who requested it, and I'm getting the, I'm the one getting paid for it. Running the equipment necessary is reason enough to pay the money anyways. If that's what you want, then alright. Would you like a cup of coffee? Ah, oh, then please make it black. Nah. Nah, he's really a villain. Who drinks black coffee? Nah, he's the man attack. <laughs> the sample data is on the desktop, so go ahead and input it. I'll be right back. This is so weird, dude. Oh my gosh. This marks another step forward. Master Utsuro, please wait for me. I'll resurrect you, I promise. <sighs> Let's see. Gosh, Kokoro, you wish you'd keep things more arranged. Let's see, is it in this folder? What's this folder? It's not any programming code. Is it a different type of data? I haven't deleted this folder yet. Whoa, what? What is happening? Why are you so surprised? It's not like you've seen something you weren't supposed to. Kokoro, huh? This isn't something worth talking about, but it isn't anything worth hiding either. It's all in the past anyways. I'm always thankful for your support, so I guess I can tell you this much. What are these data files? Haven't you always wondered about my family? Ah, about those who are my family. What? I'm so confused. This, okay, no, well, of course not. You're lying, I assure you <laughs> I know more about the emotion of curiosity than anyone else in this world. You and your mind reading again. This is, well, a file containing my daughter's brain map and digitalized electrical so signals from each response she gets? What? I'm sorry, what? It was my lifelong dream to study primitive emotions. Primitive emotions? Mikado, what do you think is the what do you think the most primitive emotion is? The base emotion of all emotions that us humans feel? Yeah, the very first emotion that us humans feel as a living creature. When we first became a living creature, the very essence of emotion. Emotion is an unknown field. No one could ever logically explain what emotion is. But what if we digitalize the most primitive emotion? Maybe we could further inspect about the very identity of us humans. Isn't it fascinating? Not really. That's kind of crazy, honestly, if you ask me. I think that's kind of insane. Is that so? I'm not sure. And what does that have to do with your daughter? Our emotions get largely affected by our surroundings as we grow up. As such, to research about the most primitive emotion in its purest form, I must conduct the experiment from the very moment a human being is born? What? Kokoro! Yes, I had her sp- she had a kid to experiment on? Dog, what? It was much more convenient than getting another person's child. Much higher s Did she care for this child at all? I had her born in the lab and- These files are all from back then. Did your husband agree to this? He did it for the record. I didn't think he... This is horrible. I didn't think that he... The, the genes would have much of an effect. And though I searched... For, I searched for a donor. One of the researchers I knew had a crush on me for the longest time. It made things a lot easier. So you did this. You did that. You, you did the deed with a man because it would make your experiments easier? What kind of selfish crap? Dude, that is a whole child. What are you doing with yourself, man? Wow, my respect for Kokoro, it was up here. Now it's all the way down here, bro. I do not like this character at all. 
That and she's working with Mikado. I do not like her at all. I n I don't like her. You know, I'm glad Emma killed her. <laughs> I'm glad Emma killed her. Oh my god. Wow. Horrible human being. Well, this is the boring part, so let's skip this. Really? The boring part. So that means your husband and daughter who went missing. Well, my husband couldn't stand it in the end, so he took- Yeah. Uh, uh, good. Good thing he did. I lost contact, so I don't know what happened afterwards. Weird. He definitely agreed to the experiment. You know, no, it's not weird. That is not weird. It was at that point that I realized that motherhood, no, fatherhood, is a much stronger emotion than I thought. Wow. Wait, but these files, they've been regularly updated until a few years ago. That's because she ran away with the scanning chip still in her brain. The chip is run by a semi-eternal battery. So as long as she was alive, the date should have been updated to this PC. And why did you keep these? The file size is enormous. Are you planning to use these for research? No, that's not it. I just forgot. There's a lot of data- What? How do you just forget something like that? No, you don't. What are you talking about? As soon as she made contact with the outer world, that primitive emotion must have disappeared. So this is all worthless data. To be honest, I didn't know they even existed before you opened them. Can you please delete them? What? What are you con- Are you concerned about something? No, I have no right to complain about ethics when my hands are this dirty from all the crimes that I've done. Wow, we are in a room with two horrible human beings. <laughs> <laughs> but still, she's your family. You told me that you were an orphan, right? Huh. I guess the story sounded a bit irresponsible for someone like you. Sorry, I was being careless. No, not at all. It's not something you should apologize for. I'm fine. Interesting. What is it? I checked some of the data just in case, but my daughter lives quite a life, didn't she? She seems to have gotten into Hope Speak Academy. Come again? What? There's a name I recognize reoccurring many times throughout my daughter's memories. Utsuro, isn't that the person you were looking for? What? Ha what? What's the matter all of a sudden? You surprised me. Oh, I'm sorry. Koko, you're not joking about this, right? It was only a personal act of trying to meet with him that I contacted you, and yet your daughter ran away and luckily got into Hope Speak Academy to somehow meet with him? When I haven't even seen a single sign of him? Can this be fate? Fate, luck, I don't believe in unscientific things. But this is new information to me as well. No, if you think about it, it's quite simple. This is the power of divine luck. Yes, it's his power. He is calling me. Him and I are pulled together once again. That could be the only explanation. What is his fascination with this guy? Utsuro. Dude, there's... Th the, this this is some sort of perverted... I, I don't understand. I don't think I want to understand. Kokoro, the event that I met with you, that was also Master Utsuro's will. I want this data to be scanned, all of it. This could prove to be even more important than the AI we're creating. To be honest, I'm a bit tired. <laughs> what? If it's money, then I'll give you much more, please. Dude, just let her sleep. What? Give me a few more as a tip. I guess I'm skipping sleep tonight. Wow. Oh my gosh. Well, we just learned a lot. Chapter Zero. However many years ago. X amount of years ago. So this is before everything happened. Before Mikado kidnapped everyone. Damn. Damn. There's another Void Theater? Um... What is happening? The world is falling apart. What was that? Playing Edgelord? <laughs> no, I mean literally. Don't we all know everything's over now? Um... This is happening. The Killing School field trip must have come to an end. Though there's no way for us to find out how it all ended. But I think it's unusual even for Mikado to put a sudden end to everything. Did something go wrong with the plan? Serves him right. Rotten hell, Mikado. Dude, come on, Nike. You're already dead. Have some dignity, dude. It's just my speculation. This dude is so obsessed with getting revenge, even in the afterlife. 
Yeah, what we know for sure is whether Mikado's plan su succeeded or not, our time here is up. So they're all gone for good now. Damn. If Utsuro really came back to life, if we can get our fortune back, and even the smallest chance of us coming back to life opens up. No, there's no such chance. Fortune is just that mere luck. It's impossible to bring people back from the dead. And even if it were possible, Mikado would never let it happen. Dude. These were... Honestly, I wanted to see more of Hajime and Emma. I thought they were pretty good characters. No, I don't want to die. I want to live some more. I want to stay here with you guys. <sighs> Emma. Snap out of it. We're already dead. Us talking here like this is only a fantasy. I know that. I'm prepared to face the end. It would be childish to deny that, but... I just couldn't help it. Our lives throughout the past years have been living, have been a living hell. And when we finally escape those gutters and live a normal life, we're dragged right back down and we have to accept it's the end? I hate it. Why me? Why do we have to go through all this suffering? <sighs> Stop it. Crying out like that won't change what's already done. Besides, we all did something terrible. Hey, Nikkei, is there anything you want to say? It might be a last chance. Or are you keeping quiet because you don't have a mouth? <laughs> I'm just waiting for all this to be over. I'm glad that this hell of a life is ending. There's no point in living without power. Yeah, let me just... Dude, wh wow. I liked some of these people. All these characters have done horrible things. Like, at least all of them have done something that is, you know, not pretty. Are you sure about that? You... Well... What about you, then? Your health. You wanted to regain your health. You came this far just for that one goal? Why are you so concerned about other people? You should- you must be the most desperate of all of us. What? That might be true. But still, there's something that came to my mind when I realized this will be the end. This is... what it was fated to be. What? We were all granted the power of fortune by Utsuro. And with that power, we altered each of our fates. We weren't dragged down to hell. We were there from the very beginning. Wow. Fortune might have allowed us a temporary escape, but this is the place we were all supposed to be. He's kind of right, if you think about it. So we can't change fate? I don't know. There might have been some way if Utsura was still alive. But wouldn't it be better to think that we came back to where we belonged instead of we lost everything? At least in your last moments. Damn. Hajime? Dude, he, how is he such a good character when he's already dead? How? How do you do that? I don't understand. That is incredible. Forget it. You're lame. I'd rather not spend my last moments dealing with the likes of you. What is wrong with him, dude? I'm gonna lay down here silently and fall into sleep. If that's what you want. I'm sorry. At least he said it. I'm happy that he said it. Emma, yeah? Tell me one final joke. Anything's fine. Oh, but I thought you'd just do it. Just pick one already. It's almost time. Alright. Come on! What do you call a deer with extremely good eyesight? Aw, dude. Come on. That kind of hurt me. Don't do that. Come on. Utsuro. I was happy to meet you, but at the same time I was unhappy. That's the reason I resent our meeting. So thank you. Because you were... What? What should I say first? If I were to explain the... Oh, this is from the start! My name is... Though I really doubt anyone cared. This is from the start! Oh my gosh! Dude! Sora! Sora, get up! What? Sora, are you okay? Sora, it's me! Dog, who is me-
Yuriko? Yuriko? This place, that has to be her. She has blue eyes. Unless... It's her. It's her. I can tell from the sprite. Dude, she's so cute. Oh my god. Thank god. I'm so glad you're okay, Sora. When I found you on the floor, I thought you were dead. I thought I was dead. Y Dude. So, whatever happened at the last second, they all lived. I knew it. They couldn't kill them off. How would they continue the game? Dude, come on, Sora. Are you serious? Who are you? Excuse me? This is the first time we've met, right? Wait, something about you is familiar. It's Yuruko. Yeah, I told you. I could, Dude, her eyes are blue. Yuruko, is that really you? What is happening to the, the world? Of course it is. You look like a completely different person. That's how she looks in real life, then. I don't understand either. I looked like I looked like I did back when I was in high school. In high school? Yuriko, I can't remember. Huh? My theory was correct. I don't know why my memory and appearance is back, but this is how I look now. Dude, I, I prefer this, honestly. I really do. You still don't believe me? My memories might be back, but I still remember everything that happened. I believe you. I was just a little bit surprised. You look very mature, though. Well, that's because I'm an adult. I don't know how old you are, but I'm older, probably. <laughs> so I should call you Miss? <laughs> are you already married? Oh my... What? Shut up! I'm not that... <laughs> Sora, stop teasing her. Oh my god. I'm just asking you to treat me how you usually do. It's just a joke, Yuriko. So, what do we do now? By the way, do you know what happened? I want to know our situation. No, we obviously don't know. We obviously didn't know what to do until our minds went blank. Yeah, everyone almost died. Dude, don't want to remember that. We're alive? I think so. What happened to the execution? Why are we on this beach and where are the others? Yuriko, I have a question. We're still in the virtual world, right? Yeah, there's numbers floating around everywhere. We definitely. Well, I don't think that with the zeros and ones who normally fly around in the real world, and the sky is purple, if you've noticed. So yeah, we are in the virtual world. Did you see that, that your memories are back? Yeah, I don't know why. So, how did you get kidnapped and forced into the killing game? I'll tell you, just wait a second. My mind's still a little fuzzy. I'm sure I was working as usual, then someone... Sorry, I don't remember the details, but I know for sure it was- Yeah, it was Mikado. Mikado attacked her. If you don't want to remember, you don't have to. I don't want you to feel overwhelmed. In any case, we know what's going on now, so I think we should check. The student handbook is com completely broken. There's some weird static in the rules section. Sorry, look at this. Reset code activation? Um, can I do it? This is- the reset code is unlocked. Did this bring back my memories? Let me check mine. Dog, don't do Come on. Oh, I can! Oh, mine's like that too. Really? So have you remembered anything? They should come back. My real memories. You remember before, right? Oh yeah, Akane Tyra, was it? You got any other memories apart from hers? I should have, but I don't feel any different from how I did in the last trial. Well, the change in my appearance must have had something to do with the reset code. But you haven't changed at all, so maybe it didn't work for you. I don't know. The reset code is not absolute. The reset... What? Wait, 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 hold on. I, <laughs> I was just reading. I didn't even realize about it. What is he doing here? The reset code just initializes the tampered state of the data. Tampered state? What's that? Wait, what? Yeah, what? Why is he here? What are you doing here? Monocro, pleasure to meet you all again. You, what do you want this? Yeah, what? No, wait. I'm no longer your enemy. What? <laughs> what are you trying to pull? You work for Mikado. Yuriko, wait a minute. Monocro, I wanted to talk to you. What? Sorry. The day I arrived on the fifth island, what happened? You tried to tell us something, right? Yes. Why didn't you say anything? And what did you do after that? Your condition was there. It was weird. And there's gotta be a reason that you're here, right? Still as seasoned as ever, Miss Sora. 
I'll admit you were half right. Half right? What? Once my data was initialized, it doesn't make sense for me to be here anymore. So in theory, my personality should be dead, but somehow I have come back to life. Now that I have a few moments of freedom, I came here to you. What? Are you, what? What are you talking about? Do I understand? I'm here to help you guys. To help us? Seems both your reset codes have been activated, right? Seeing how Yuriko's avatar has been released, but nonetheless, you lack information. To beat that monster Mikado, you need information. Yeah. Honestly, I am. I. I don't. This is weird. This is too weird for me. Am I wrong? Wait a minute, you're acting weird. You've been on Mikado's side this whole time, so why are you helping us now? He was being manipulated. I felt it from the start. Mikado saying like, oh, Monocross the one doing all this. I always knew that was a load of crap. Mikado literally gave himself admin rights. He's the ultimate hacker, dude. He could just give himself whatever he wants and make things go the way he wants and just cheat his way through the killing game. like. Well, I'm not sure either. I think the default value of my algorithm is to help humans. What? Algorithm? All programs act using algorithms, and the principle of those are determined by a default value. Wait, so is he literally just a program? I've not been exactly trustworthy so far, so you have to make a choice if to trust me or not. I won't force you. As Yoriko said, I've been working for Mikado, so why would you tr Why? Why is he saying that? However, I am no longer under the jurisdiction of Mikado, so now my action is to help you. I hope you believe that much. This is this is a bit too weird. What should we do, Sora? I mean, we don't really have a choice, do we? Honestly, Monoko, what do you know about Mikado's plan? Where are the others, and what's going on? Well, not all of them are here, but I could show you where they are. Um, yeah, let's take his help. I think we need his help. Are you serious? Yes! It's hard to understand the situation with just two alone. Besides, we don't know where the others are, and we could always use some more eyes in the sky. We have perfect we have a perfect bird for that job. Please don't just address me as a bird. <laughs> right. I'm suspicious of Monocro, but he has been acting weird for the past few days. However, if you betray us, you will die. Don't worry, my algorithm isn't programmed to lie. So it's safe to assume you have just decided there's nothing else on the speech. We should move. Move to where? The singularity. What? Please talk to me when you're ready. I want to start right away. Alright. What a sudden reunion. Monocro is certainly back to his usual self. I'm still not sure whether he's our ally or enemy, but I'm sure Monocro something is something that could be useful to us. What happened to us? Who knows what the future may hold? It's time to uncover the truth. Alright, dude. Well... Oh my god, okay, this is pretty unsettling. Now we're on chapter 6. Investigation start? Okay, um, let me save, let me save, let me save. Oh my god, I can't, okay, alright, I'm gonna save. And let's talk to Yuriko. We did lose the class, the last class trial. Yeah, we did. I'm still not convinced. Was Mikado really the killer? Yes, he was! He was the killer! If you think about what Mikado said before, it all matches up. We knew the culprit of the four other trials because we had an easy way of judging who the culprit was. But in the last case, we had no idea who placed the poison. Clearly, that was our downfall. But it was a complete defeat. Our usual process of doing things was made useless. Yeah, but Mikado did cheat. He used magic to get out of the locked room. That's how he made the locked room mystery. He still cheated. So he should have he should have lost the trial, but you know he's he's the ultimate hacker. So, however, somehow we lived. It's already over now, anyway. So let's just focus on the present. Honestly, you're right. I'm sorry. Be sorry, man. Let's just go. <laughs> wow. Why is his voice so deep? I forgot how deep if we could afford it. I I don't think we can. Can I go anywhere else though? I can't. I, okay. Let's just go. <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Let's move right away. How are we gonna move? Wait a minute, Monocro. Just where is the singularity? Before that, do we even need to go to it? Mikado's plan and the reason why we got trapped in this killing game. If you already, if you already know, just tell us here. She's right. Don't be suspicious. If you have any information for us, tell us right away. Yeah, yeah. I thought you already knew about Mikado's plan. Yeah, we kind of do, actually. 
BK said everything a few days ago, remember? Besides, the reset codes were solved, so I think you already have come to your conclusion. Yuki, Utsuro, he's trying to meet them. Is that what you're talking about? Well, his goal is to put Utsuro's personality over Yuki's, therefore aiming for the resurrection of the Levine Luck. Isn't that what you already concluded in Higa City? That's... Wait a minute. Only me, Sora, and Yuki were there, so how do you know about that? That's because I'm the overseer of this world. Yeah, you can hear everything. Currently, this virtual world is enorm is erroneous due to the external intervention. You can tell what happened from the, the strange environment that surrounds you, right? When that happened, our security was destroyed, and without my admin privileges, I know little information of what's happened ever since. So just tell us the information you do now, honestly, what? Whoa, what a temper person. What a temper for Miss Kabuya here. Well, always so impatient. I have judged that seeing it for yourself would be faster than any- Oh my. You know what, uh, whatever. Let's just go. It's only a waste of time talking here. I see? Question mark? Honestly. I know for a fact that it is not me or Mikado causing this intervention. It would be impossible to move such a place for us. Follow me. The coordinates of the map are all lined up, so it should just be up ahead. I don't think he's listened to a single word I said. Can't be helped, we should just do what Monocro says for now. At the end of the day, it's only a matter of time before Mikado realizes something is wrong. Honestly, we don't, we don't have much time, and comes to execute us again. That's a wise judgment. Now follow me. Due to the unnatural linking of these locations, you may feel somewhat dizzy upon movement. Please keep that in mind and have a safe travel. Ah. <sighs> what? Dude, what the heck is this? We've arrived. This is the first singularity. Ah, uh, my head is spinning. This is- this is- What is this? What's going on? As I said, this world is full of errors. It seems the objects are misplaced. When I woke up, we were on a sandy beach. And now we're somehow inside a building. Is this maybe the first island? Correct, this is the bell tower. This is where the first murder took place. Dude, in the virtual world, murders are of great significance. From this era, I should be able to do various manipulations here. This way. What? What? Huh? What? Dude, what? Hold on. That's... That's Yuri. That's Yuri, yeah, Yuri Kagarin, right? A suspicious capsule-type machine reminiscent of a tube. Way there sleeping the body of Yuri, who is an adult like we saw in the video. You're all aware that the one who died in this tower was Yuri, right? Why is Yuri? No, more importantly, what is this machine? They're the capsules! The capsules from the second game, yeah. Um, what are they called? Uh, they're the things that you uh, sleep in. And then they plug you into the Neo World program. I forgot what they were actually called. This machine is a device that connects the real and virtual worlds. In other words, this is the connector to the virtual world program where we currently reside. In the real world, just like Yuki, you two are in a capsule like him, asleep. So Yuri also returned to his real body. Wait a minute, Yuri fell from the top of the tower, but there's no cuts and no wounds. Wait, is Yuri alive? No, Yuri is very much dead. What? So you really do die if you die. Like, it's not the virtual world that Chihiro created. Because if you die here, you're dead for real. Wow. Okay, at least it's confirmed. Holy crap, so everyone is dead. What's in the device is just an empty body. Because the virtual world co connects directly to the brain. So death in here is a death in the real world. There are no exceptions. That's... that's a major yikes. So everyone who died is still dead. After we saw the real nature of Nikkei, it's just as we thought he was lying. But hearing Monocro say it like that, yeah, that's kinda harsh. They're all gone. So why is Yuri still here? And what's that capsule here with him? I already told you. Told us? No you didn't. This place is entirely virtual, your body is exactly the same. It's just like a game avatar, so to speak. And with administrator rights, you can change the look of an avatar. So in other words, someone arbitrarily manipulated the body of the dead Yuri. Does that mean- It wasn't a person who intervened, it was, it was due to the reset codes. 
When a reset code is activated, your avatar returns to the state of your original body. If you don't believe me, let me show you. Ah, oh, what? What the heck? I'm back to- yeah, what? That is so weird. I'm back to normal. Originally, such a power would be impossible. But in this state, it's possible to manipulate it. We're just talking nonsense. Let's get back to the important part about Yuri's reality. To be precise, someone called the connection device. Someone cut the connection device in reality. That was the reason. The connection device? Is there something like that in the capsule machine? Yeah, the connectors. At the, they're at the top, I think. Well, as far as I'm aware, this device will show information. Wow. Here we are. This is his profile? That's all we know about Yuri Kagarin. Please have a read. Name, Yuri Kagarin. Japanese and Russian. Mid-20s. From a young age, he inherited, he inherited the Kagarin Corporation. He hated men very much, but was able to see the varied abilities of humans. He became an outstanding businessman and developed the Kagarin Corporation in new heights. Using independently developed AI called Yuri for space explorations, he successfully contributed greatly to the space industry and became one of the symbols of the next generation of hope. Influenced by a girl from his past, he was determined to devote himself to helping women's welfare. Huh. That's kind of sweet in a way, I guess, even though he was kind of weird. <laughs> Looks like a lot of great achievements, but still nothing special. What do you mean nothing special? That's pretty incredible. Still the same old Yuri. Not only Yuri's body was big, but he himself was. So what does this have to do with our situation? I swear, do you not remember? Remember what? I'm aware you have recovered your memories as Akane Tyra. Am I wrong? Yuri Kagarin met Akane Tyra as a child? What? So Sora, Yuri who originally rejected men and worshipped women. The reason he became so obsessed with women was because Yuri hired Akane Tyra as a worker for him. What the heck? Then does that mean, Sora, do you remember meeting him as Akane Tyra? I'm not too sure. I can't remember for Okay, I guess Sora is just a glitch in the system or something. I don't really remember everyone I met while I was a maid. <laughs> right. Well, whether Miss Sora remembers Yuri or not doesn't really matter. What's important is Yuri had knowledge of Akane Tyra. Why is that important? Because that's why he's linked to the killing game. Why does that matter? Because that is the reason he was Yeah! All of you, Utsuro, the very purpose of Mikado. He brought you all here because you were related to his classmates during Utsuro's time at Hope Speak Academy. How is that possible, though? Including me? Minako Tamori, does that name seem familiar to you? What? How do you know her? Minako's Tamori- Minako Tamori's only daughter, Kizuna Tamori, is the ultimate cheerleader of the 79th class of Hope's Peak. She was one of Utsuro's classmates. That's why she was kidnapped? That's kind of insane. Not even- that is insane. Minako is a married woman? Is it really a surprise? But she really has a husband and a daughter. What? Did you two have a thing going on? Oh my- No, Minako was the madam at the bar I used to work in at high school. Even though I was a minor, she looked after me so I could work with her. She thinks she was a married woman. But this isn't about her. This is about Minako's daughter who went to Hope's Peak, right? Yeah, to be more precise, Hope's Peak's 79th class. Well, I'm gonna say this one more time. The reason you became a target of Mikado was because you were more or less related to the 79th class students. In the case of Miss Sora, Akane Tyra was a- yeah, that's pretty obvious. So that is self-explanatory. Dude, what? Wait a minute, Madam's daughter and Sora were classmates? Minako's age at the time, and then her daughter was in high school, that means... Grandmok? Dude, don't say that. No, I wasn't trying to calculate your age. Well, age doesn't matter, so stop calling me that. <laughs> Is that touching moment over? Can I continue? All of you except the members of Void were related to the 79th class in some way. Yeah, I kind of expected that. Technically, Void sought help from... Utsuro. I mean, does that really count? Since they're technically related, it means that all of you are related to the 79th class. Come to think of it, Terry was literally- yeah, he was literally a part of the 79th class himself. Was Terry- yeah, he was. Correct. In Mikado's plan, everyone was supposed to have a slight relation to the 79th class. But there were some people who were in the 79th class themselves. That includes Akane Taira. That's you, Sora. 
and that's the reason we were in this horrible situation because we had a connection to the that is the, the, come on dude that is so ridiculous so why did void mikado collect everyone connected to the 79th class in order for yuki to become utsuro he needed to create a similar environment to the previous game that doesn't necessarily mean that everyone in this game needs to be related to the I mean, maybe there's another reason. Maybe there's another reason we don't know. Mikado called it reproduction. A reprodu- yeah, that makes sense. I had no choice. It was to create a conflict of men versus women for the exact reproduction. Killing Yuri was the only way to do that. Him dying as a fact alone would be enough. As expected, it stirred up theories of- wow. That's so crazy. I messed up the reenactment. It shouldn't be a surprise considering the fall. Oh my gosh. The reproduction of the case. It's the order of the killing game we've been through so far. The Void's previously mentioned it after- Yeah, they kept saying that there was a kill order. I remember now because Ira had messed up or something like that. That's what Mikado said at least. I didn't read that. I'm sorry. <laughs> remember how this killing game is similar to the killing game of the 79th class. That's right, Terya said that. The 79th class went through a killing game as well. About Utsuro, you must have heard about him from Sora on the last island. Do you remember? Yuki is biologically identical to Utsuro, but mentally they are different people. So Mikado wanted to replace Yuki's personality with Utsuro as much as... As such, he chose a virtual world so he could connect directly to the brain. In conclusion, Utsuro was in the 79th class, and the two killing games were very similar. In the virtual world, Yuki suffered the same turning. This is Mikado's plan. The trials that Nikkei talked about, this is the reenactment process. I was expecting this to some extent, but hearing it myself was truly terrible. Yeah, we kind of already, like, deduced all this, but hearing it from Monocro is... It's something else. You wouldn't even expect him to be telling us all this, of all people. Then my memory of Akane Tara has returned, I remember clearly what I did. The terrible hell of the killing game. My memories when I opened my eyes on Utsuroshima were ambiguous. It felt like a dark past. But now, I remember everything clearly. During that time, he and I did something terrible. Where are Yuki and... And, uh... What's her name? Iraha. I almost forgot her name. How'd I forget her name? It's terrible... It's a terrible time that I don't ever want to repeat again. And Mikado Sanoji did it all over again. To Yuki, who has done nothing wrong and was dragged, in, dragged into the selfish purpose again. And not just Yuki, everyone else was dragged into this because of the 79th class. Wait a minute. After the war and the tragedy, human scientific advancements were rapid and technology improved day by day. With the technology of the Toa group, I know artificial intelligence and other things sort of had to be begun to appear. But no matter how I think about it, covering a personality with someone else's is... No matter how similar the environment and the conditions are, is it really possible? It's basically brainwashing. Yeah. If it's possible or not, the theory has already been proven by someone before. What? They even managed to implement it in practice before. What are you talking about? Junko and Oshima, have you- That's true! Junko and Oshima, she's the cut. yeah, she's the cause of it. She corrupt Utsuro, and as a, as a result, most of the 79th class died. She's the root of this world's chaos. <laughs> well, she died a long time ago after popping up a few too many times, so you don't need to worry too much about her. In the past, Junko and Oshima modified a virtual world called the Neo World Program. It was used to override someone's personality with her own. AKA the plan to turn everybody into herself, of course with the work of many others. Her plan failed and Junko and Oshima is completely dead. That doesn't make any sense. Did Mikado use that plan as a motivation for his own? Did he actually implement the plan? What does the symbol on the capsule device mean? This is the connection of, a, of the device of the New World Program. Or the Neo World Program. It's a stolen version that was plugged with a thermal plate. Wow. So he stole the technology. Where did Mikado get such manpower? Fortunately, I do not know that. I'm only supposed to direct the killing game. The Mono mascot taking the place of Monokuma. Even Mikado didn't give me the full details. So we were, we were forced into the killing game that Utsuro went through because the 79th class was already dead. So we were used as alternatives or substitutes in other words. Yes, Yuri here, Yuriko, as well as anybody else, everyone else was in the same situation. This is, this is kind of an information overload. What's with the serious face, Sora? 
No, that can't be. What? There's got to be something more. Yuriko and everyone else that were kidnapped by Mikado. There's more? Um, so as sharp as always. What are you talking about? In, condi in addition to the people related to the 79th class condition, there were other criteria they had to reach. And they were... You had to be a Hope's Peak Academy student. Huh? That... We already know that's a lie. This is essential and irreplaceable condition that Mikado learned using trial and error. In addition to this, the 79th killing game, there had to, there have been several others. There was even a killing game that took place with Hope's Peak Academy officials. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Let me, like, deduce some of this. So... All the people who were involved in this killing game were more or less normal people. They were not actually ultimates at all, except for Teria, who is former ooh, a, firm, a former ultimate. Oh my god, I can't speak. Teria was the only former ultimate involved in this game. Everyone else had fabricated ultimates, other than Sora, because she's a version of Akane Teria that lost her memories. But other than those two, everyone else are just normal people. No one was actually an ultimate. There was no ultimate guitarist, ultimate broker, none of that. No one was an ultimate. These were all just normal people with above average skills. It was all of this was just fabricated. Wow. I'm not sure why, but Utsuro's personality was covered up. But the ultimate talent was absolute absolutely necessary. <laughs> What are you talking about? I've never been to Hope's Peak. Yeah, none of them have been. That's correct. You were not a student at Hope's Peak. Or Yuri was at Hope's Peak Academy. There's the problem. When you started the Killing School trip, why did your memory go back to when you were in high school? Because that was necessary. You all should know since your memories have returned, but... You see, Hope's Peak Academy was already closed several years ago. So the ultimate students that were considered the symbols of hope in this world could no longer be found. That's why Mikado decided to kidnap all of the people who were considered a symbol of hope. Read Yuri's profile carefully again. Yeah, it said something like next generation hope or something like that. Yep, yep, we read this. Symbols of next generation of hope, yeah. The symbol of hope for the next generation? After the tragedy, major restoration had to begin. Among them, there were people who had great contribution to the restoration work. Those were people those people were the next generation of hope, just the same as the ultimate students were. They were called the symbols of hope. Mikado focused on that and the talent itself, and as such put everyone's age back to when they were in high school. In other words, you were virtual ultimate students. Yeah, I told you. Come on, wait a second. A symbol of hope for the next generation? Does that include me? I don't have any achievements that could earn me that talent. Yeah, what? She said she worked at a bar illegally. You're too humble, Miss Kabuya. You certainly deserve the title. You were a counselor, correct? What? Oh, I did some volunteering through the speaking stills. I learned as a hostess. Became a psychologist. What? Of course, I did gain a little recognition, but not to the extent of being called that. It's through the counseling that Yuriko did that she began that she began to stand out after the tragedy. She helped a lot of people who are physically and mentally damaged by the disaster, and all for the small cost of nothing. Many people suffered from PTSD, and thanks to Yuriko's work, they got through their trauma. And that got her the title of being, dude, that's awesome. She should be the ultimate psychologist, not freaking Kokoro. Yuriko, that's awesome. Well, that being said, I shouldn't have been the ultimate- shouldn't I- shouldn't I have been the ultimate counselor instead? Or was I chosen as the ultimate hostess? That's not what I was known for. Yeah, what? Your talent and memory were in inextricable- in ex I don't know how to say that. They were linked. If- <laughs> I don't know how to say it, man. If you were selected as the ultimate psychologist, your memories wouldn't sink well since you weren't- Oh, that makes sense. So does that mean everyone else was actually had a talent as well? Correct. Yuri here was no different. He was famous in the space industry. At that age? Really? A symbol of hope for the next generation. From some point, everyone began to call me that. <laughs> a considerable amount of time has passed since Hope Peak, Hope's Peak shut down, and people are still desperate for some hope. That's how humans are, just how mankind created religion. They needed something to believe in. Humans are always hungry for hope, and they were afraid of despair. That's why they created the next symbols of hope. When you said that, something came to mind. Monokra, are you human? No. It doesn't- I mean... Actually, that's a good question. 
When the killing school trip first started, I didn't know anything, and I thought there might be someone who controls you behind the scenes. But as the story, is, uh, as the story of the virtual world came out, and from Mikado's remarks, you seemed to be more than someone being controlled when you were talking about your memories returning. Monocro was created by Mikado specifically for this plan. Would it be all right to call you? It would be all right to call you artificial intelligence, right? A swing and a miss. You were only half right this time. Of course I'm artificial intelligence, but I am not made by Mikado? What? I mean, actually, that does kind of make sense. Because he's been helping us. Nani. So then who made him? My real name is Yuri. Mikado hacked me into another program. What? Yuri? That's literally the person who's right in front of us. What do you mean? Using an independently developed AI called Yuri for space exploration. <gasps> So Yuri made him and called him Yuri! What? Monoko, you're Yuri's- Yes, I guess you could call... Yuri my father. Dude, what? My purpose is to help humans. Originally, my purpose was to manage various flights. I've been developed for that. Even though most of my data has been modified, I still have no memory of being the AI Yuri. Then why the hell is he AI created by the co- Dude, wait, so when he kidnapped Yuri, he must have hit a jackpot because he was able to hack Mo uh, Monocro. Or I guess Yuri, in this case. The AI created by the Kagurin Corporation was being modified for use in a killing game? Mikado was extremely focused on efficiency. For him, Mr. Kagurin's AI had all the necessary conditions for the plan. It must have been the best, yeah, honestly. So he kidnapped Yuri and stole his artificial intelligence, that's what you're saying? So in summary, in addition, an AI created by the next generation of Hope would be fitting for his plan. This isn't a very good story. Um, well, I don't know of all of Mikado's actions. All the memories of me being the AI Yuri have been erased. I just went through the killing game as program. But now that, now that I know my identity, I can clearly remember what took place because of the program. Which is why I'm helping you both. But wh where is everyone else? An unimaginable identity. Yuri was deeper in Mikado's plan than we all thought. But of course, Yuri is dead. He was also a victim. The scary thing is how someone executed all these large-scale crimes. But this was done by the person called Mikado Sinoji. Also, if the people in this program are actually dead... Mikado is in some serious trouble. Like... Wow, I didn't even know that was possible to actually make these people die. The reason Hajime was able to save everyone at the end of the second game is because he unlocked his... Um, ability of being the ultimate future. He was able to use every ultimate. So with that knowledge, he was able to bring back everyone who was in a comatose state. That's what the Neo World program is supposed to do. But I guess this is a knockoff version and they couldn't go to those lengths. So all your nerves are connected to the program. So when you die here, you die in real life, which sucks. Wow. This was all done by Mikado. Even after we got our memories back, we still didn't know much about Mikado himself. Monocro, if you look at it, you're also a victim of Mikado. It must have been hard for someone that was programmed for good purposes to be doing horrible stuff for Mikado like that. Yeah, he did every execution. Hmm. That's not exactly the case. What? His body is simply a programmed algorithm. I am just an AI. I have no emotions. I laugh, act gloomy, get angry, etc. Not because it's actually how I feel. It's because I was programmed this way. That's kind of dark. Don't say that, man. But... Artificial intelligence is not human. As an AI, I have no feelings of guilt. The only person who committed a crime is Mikado. However, distinguishing the good and bad, there's no function for that. I'm helping you now because I realized my original uh, role. Because that is what my algorithm says to do. An artificial person acts on its own emotion and ignores algorithm. Well, that would be called an alter ego. You, don't need, you do not need to sympathize with me or worry about me. You've only, you only have to use me. Dude, don't talk about yourself like that. Because all I am is a tool to help humans. What? Nah, bro. Come on. Artificial intelligence that acts according to an algorithm. Monocro's actions are not based on emotion. They're simply deduced using his systems. But even so... Yeah. I'm sorry. No, it's nothing. It would be meaningless of me to talk any longer. My role is soon to end anyway. Yeah, why was he... Was that really it? I don't- I think- I think he's just bluffing, honestly. 
he apologized after killing Nikkei. Like, I think that was... If his behavior was really just an algorithm, then what did all those other times mean? Now, let's move to the second singularity. Time might be infinite, but not for us. You may feel dizzy between moves, so try to, to mentally prepare yourself before we, before we begin. This is so weird. Alright. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna have a class trial at the end of this. I think that's pretty obvious, because we're getting bullets. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my god, we got so much stuff. Okay, Yuri is yeah, he's dead. He's not sleeping, he's dead. What the heck? Dude, what is this? This is one of the private rooms. Welcome to the second scene. Yeah, Kokoro's room. I think you should all remember it. This is where the second murder happened. But how? This is the monocruise. Well, I guess you could say this is backup data. Also, the monocruise was its own secluded area. We found this out because the monocruise crashed into the harbor on the fourth island. But the inside of the monocruise was completely fine as if nothing happened. There was no leaking, nothing was, da nothing was damaged at all. So that's how we first found out this is a virtual world. Common sense doesn't apply in a virtual world full of glitches. Don't think about it too hard. Please, come this way. Yeah, that's how she actually looks. That is so weird. Just as it was in the first singularity, there was somebody inside the capsule. A middle-aged woman. This is Kokoro? Yes, this is how Kokoro looked in the real world. Well, to be more accurate, should I call her Kokoro? Yeah. Kurokawa? That's Kokoro's last name. She is married. Kokoro was married? She's that old? So like me and Yuri, she was considered a next generation symbol of hope and related to the 79th class peak. Class peak? What is wrong with me? Class of hope's peak. Yes, however, this is not relevant. Miss Mitsume, no. Miss, Kokor Miss Kurokawa is the mother of the old- Yeah, I said this. I literally said this. They have the same last name. Her name was Mikako, that was her name. And she is a member of the 79th class of Hope's Peak Academy. Wow. Mikako? Ah, oh, my head. Sora, what's wrong? What a nostalgic name it must be for our dear Sora. Well, Kokoro here isn't only related to Mikako by blood, but they haven't actually met for a long while. There were circumstances that caused the, that caused this that was Mikako that Mikako was disowned by her own mother and raised separately. Circumstances? What kind of horrible ones? You don't want to know. I don't know the details. Mikako only gave me the information I needed to know. Yeah. Sorry, I don't know everything. <laughs> What's with your silence, Miss Sora? It's nothing. I was just a little surprised to hear that name. Well, alright. Let's do the same as last time. Let's read her bio. Dude, she looks so sleep deprived. Please read the information for yourself. <laughs> Kokoro Kurokawa. She was a famous psychologist who published multiple theses in the past. But after unknown some... So after some unknown circumstances, she disappeared from the academic world. Her location is unknown. In the, years, in the later years of her work, she went beyond psychology in the AI field. And even brain science. This was, con was, this was confirmed from her studies. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna get some water, bro. I'm messing up my words so much, dude. It seems she had a daughter with somebody, but has been lost for a long time. The current status of this child is unknown. Well, we actually know what happened to that child. She died. And so did Coco. What a horrible fate, dude. As you all know, Miss Mitsume has an excellent brain. She was considered a symbol of hope for the next generation, although she never attended Hope's Peak and wasn't even a high school student. It wouldn't have been strange if she was accepted into Hope's Peak Academy herself. Wait a minute, isn't something off here? What? Look at her profile. Of course it says she was famous in the past. How come I haven't heard about her? What? This is the first time I've heard the name Kokoro Kurokawa. How, so how could she be one of the next generation symbols of hope? Monokuro, do you even know what you're saying? What? Um, as far as I know, the next generation symbols of hope were in the world. So how could her name not be known? Are you sure you aren't getting it wrong? In fact, the profile says nothing about her being a symbol of hope. What? No, Mikado told me this directly. He needed talented people to replace the ultimate students. But um, as Yuriko said, it's a little weird. Are you sure you weren't being fooled yeah, by Mikado? Yeah, yeah. Well, as I said prior, I don't know everything, so maybe there are details I'm not sure of. 
Let's put this topic on hold. I don't think we'd get an answer by going in circles like this. You're giving up already? Use the intelligence and that that's not how it works. It's because of my artificial intelligence that I gave up so quickly, Sora. My body is like a computer, so to speak. My thinking speed exceeds far exceeds that of the human brain. And nothing comes to mind no matter how much I think about it. It's safe to say I have no idea. Uh, really? Even if you are an ally, you're not much <laughs> Come on, dude. It really doesn't matter that much. But the more I think about it, the more strange it becomes. Why is it only Kokoro's information that's like this? We're only at the beginning and there's already so many problems. Still, Monocro's the reason we're getting this far. At least we're making some- Yeah, honestly. Don't complain. Sora, this might be a weird time to ask, but... Didn't Tyria say all three of the 79th- All but three of the 79th class died in the killing game. Wouldn't that mean that you died? And that Kokoro- No, Kurokawa's daughter, yeah. Wait, what? Yeah, no, I talked about this. She got impaled, but she lived somehow. Was she your friend? You were classmates after all. Are you okay, Sora? I think so? What? What do you mean you think so? After all my memories, after my memories came back, I remembered all my classmates. They were all wonderful. Nevertheless, over the past few days, we've gone through the trauma of life and death. Even now with my memories back, I still miss my friends who died back in the tragedy. You're not just Sora. You're not just Sora. Akane Taira's in there too. And all the 79th class were your classmates. Even though we were all fake friends, it still hurts, Sora. All of our classmates on this island are dead. Dude, it was a waste of time. It's a waste of time? What? What do you mean it's a waste of time? Other than this, wouldn't it be better to gather more information soon? The whereabouts of that bastard Mikado and the others. Yeah, the others! Dude, I said this! Where is Yuki and Iroha? Do you know where the others are? Hmm. The others? Are you talking about Yuki or Iroha? Mikado may have higher authority, so I cannot locate him specifically, but the others I can find for sure. Anyway, since the coordinates are meaningless, I'm sure we will come across them soon. Wait a minute, Sora, what's with that reaction? Mikako, I don't know what type of person she was, but she still died in the killing game, like Terrio said. I don't deserve to mourn them? As I said, Yuriko, Akane Taira committed many sins that I cannot that cannot just be washed away that easily. I just don't want to talk about it right now. Sora, what exactly did you do? Let's not talk about that. The last time we talked about this, we didn't actually get much time to talk because of the murder and stuff. What the hell did you do that's so unforgivable? Why can't I know? Dude, this is this is awkward. I don't want to talk about it, you just hate me for it. Sora, I told you the other day I want to know what happened no matter what. Remember, I'm always on your side. I want to help you, Sora. Please, tell me how you feel. You might not be on our side after she explains. If I can't do that, then we- Hey, are you two fighting? This isn't exactly the right time for this. He's right. Yuriko, I trust you, but we're still not completely out of Void's plan yet. That's true. It's very painful for me. If I remember now, I'd just be stuck with the same painful memory. And I couldn't move forward. So I'll tell you as soon as we get out of here. Sora. I know that you're angry, but just this once, can we stop this? Besides, we lost each other recently. I don't want to fight you. Wow. I feel the same, too. I don't want to fight you either, Sora. But you're right. Confessing your sins isn't exactly an easy task. I was being too forward. I'm sorry. No, you're not? What? Yoroshi. Now that you've both made up such a touching friendship, you always manage to get along so well. Stop being so nosy. You're free from Mikado, right? And you're still poking your beak into other people's business. Sorry, it's a habit. Monocro, there's nothing else to know about Kokoro, right? Yes, to tell you the truth, Kokoro is an unusual case. If you're ready to move on to the next singularity, should we go? Wait, Monocro, how long are we gonna- I guess we're gonna see everyone who died. So we've taken care of all the singularities. The previous two singularities were at the crime scenes, right? So the, so the next one should be at the ghost house? Alright. So if the singularities are the crime scenes, then there should be three more left. Correct. What are we gonna do after it's all over? About that, I don't know. What? I know I keep saying this, but I don't know everything. But I don't know more than I know. All I, all I can do is show you the profiles and give you an approximate indicator of the events. It's up to you to decide what to do after that. What are we even gonna do? What can we do? Well, I guess leaving everything 
I guess we were leaving everything to Monocro until a while ago. I was calling you suspicious. Sorry, Monocro. I've said this before, but I'm only a tool. You don't need to apo- Dude, stop! Sounded like freaking Pekko. Oh my god. Let's save this for later. We have to find Yuki anyway, so let's focus on all the information Monocro has for us. Yeah, let's do that. It just feels too dizzy every time we move. It's horrible. What? Mikako Kurok. The sins I committed back then. What I want to say to Yuriko. Was this really right? No, I shouldn't be asking that now. The investigation comes first. That kind of scared me. Oh my gosh. Ah, uh, Dizzy again. Is it just me or is the landscape breaking even more? It is. It's because there's a lot of data to be processed. Better hurry now, this way. Wait, there's two people. Oh, there's three capsules. Well, it's for Setsuka and the twins. Wait, why haven't the Void members gotten capsules? So following the pattern so far, these mechanical devices at the Singularities and the dead are in the places where they died? That is correct. That's weird, the only one who died in the ghost house was Setsuka, but the twins are here. So why weren't Hajime and Emma at the first two? Yeah, that's right. These pods are for victims, not criminals. And to some extent, the twins here are also victims. Well, that's... What? There's somebody behind the- oh, it's Iraha, I think, right? Iraha? Or Yuki. Yeah, it is Iraha. Where the hell am I? How do I get out? I'm just gonna- that's a new sprite. <laughs> I hate you, Mikado. I hate you. Iraha? <laughs> I'm sorry, Mikado, but it's not Mikado. What is wrong- wait, why does she- Are the Void members actually all- Like, they all look like that. And Yurika, it's been a while this- Monocro, what are you doing here? How did you get here? No matter how much I try to leave, I can't escape. Hmm. The answer is simple. You cannot move between these coordinates because you are not an administrator. I brought these two here myself. Well, it certainly looks like you're back to normal. Then can I go home now? No! What? You think I can just leave after everything you've done? What? After all you've done, that's all you have to say? Thank you. It hurts. Miss Yuriko, violence is against the- No, I am no longer a teacher. The rules do not matter. Why are you overreacting? Sora, you should just be as mad as me. You haven't even shouted at her. She cooperated with Mikado and helped kill Teria. She almost got us all killed. I mean, she didn't want to do it. So, stop it, Yuriko. We can't change what happened. There's something I want to ask her. Ow, it hurts. Iraha. I know you were on Mikado's side, but that doesn't matter anymore. I can understand why you did what you did. Even after Hajime was betrayed, you couldn't give up on the plan. Because you were desperate. You needed to reach your heaven again. My heaven? How do you- d Dude, we've talked about this like 40 times. Just shut up and listen. But now that you've come this far, you should know now Mikado only sees you as a tool. So even now you have another choice. Join Mikado again. Or you could give us a chance. What do you say? I wanted to join you, but the school rules. School rules? It was why Nikkei died. If you betray Void, you get killed yourself. Do you really think I stuck to Mikado because I liked him? I couldn't do anything. <laughs> school rules were only added after Shinji died and the trial was over. So why? Why didn't you reveal yourself when Nikkei did? Explain that one, Aruha. Huh? That's because she was scared. She was scared. This is not the time for this, yeah. We're not completely innocent either. You tried to kill too. Now this is not the time to feel guilty. Really? What? Dude, what is happening? Why are you shouting all of a sudden? Sora? Oh, it's nothing. Anyway, I'll pay the price for my sins one day, for, but for now we have to stop Mikado. If we just leave him, he'll continue his evil plans, and there'll be more victims. We can only prevent this with our own hands. Think about it. Don't worry about the rules, Iraha. Maybe it's because of the error in the virtual world, but all the rules in this world are now obsolete. Oh, you're right, the handbook. I don't like it either, but you're the last remaining void left except for Mikado. So if you ever felt anything for us, I hope you'll help us. I get it. I'll help you. 
Okay. Well, now we need to find Yuki. Monokuro be began to briefly explain all the details to Iroha. Wait, is it true that only victims get capsules in this case? That doesn't make sense. How would the Void members be connected to the Neo World program? That doesn't make sense. Everyone here needs to have a capsule or that would not work. That explanation doesn't make sense. Do you know why the execution stopped? It's obvious. Somebody forced the termination of the virtual world. So someone from the outside did... And thanks to this termination... Okay, so the only people who could have done that are, um, uh, what's her name? Ray? Um, what's her name? Or her name. What am I saying? Ray or, uh, Kinjo? Because we saw Kinjo at the start of this chapter. And thanks to this termination, I'm here to help you all. I was really scared. If it had just been a few seconds later, my head would have been splattered all <laughs> Stop being so loud. Shut up. Sora, tell her to stop screaming. It's so scary. So there you have it, Iroha. Why are you surprised by Yuriko's appearance? Because she already saw her. Come to think of it, when Sora woke up, she didn't even recognize me at all. So how did you know who I was straight away? Well, according to Nikkei, all the Void members received a profile on us. Iroha, so that's how you knew, right? Yeah. Even though you just said it, Mikado gathered intelligent people from all over the country and erase their memories and return them back to their high school days. The symbols of the next generation of hope. Ira, your reset code has been unlocked, right? But you haven't even changed a little. Well, actually, the voids don't have reset codes. What? Well, they do, but the code doesn't do anything. What does that mean? Wait, you didn't even know? It looks like you need a detailed explanation of the reset codes. The reset codes synchronize your data modulation in the virtual world with the real world. In other words, it does exactly what it says on the tin. It literally initi initially resets your manip manipulated data. However, unlike the rest of you, the voids have no tampered data, so the code stays the same. No tampered data? So you're saying in reality that Araha looks like this? Can you ask a while ago why Ama and Hajime had no pods, correct? The pod was imported with the reset code in mind. So what happens when the victims return to the original body. When a void returns to its initial state, there is no backup data, so it does not change. What? I'm so confused. Yeah, I am too. In other words, you can't retrieve void's data. You can see it that way. I can only speak technically, but pro programming language is hard to explain. And even if they could retrieve void's data, nothing would have changed. Huh? The voids were brought by Mikado to simply fill the numbers out. They were just cattle. The voids are not a So he didn't give them pods because... But how would they be connected? They have to have pods in the outside world then. That doesn't make sense. So they don't have pods here because they were literally just useless to Mikado. Or not useless, but... Uh, there were tools to Mikado, so he didn't give them pods in this world. The voids are not a part of the next generation symbols of hope, and I do not have any more information than that. So they don't have actual ultimates. So they're not a next generation hope, and they're not ultimate students. Does that mean they have no talent? I didn't go to Hope Speak Academy either, and I'm not a student. Nevertheless, we were still recognized for our talents, so what does that mean for them? Doesn't it make sense that Void would be talented too? Considering the possibilities we've seen Void perform so far... Yeah. Yeah. Honestly. Well, I'm not interested in boxing media or, or art, so I'm not sure. But Emma Magarobi, I know that name for sure. Before the biggest, most awful tragic event in human history, she was famous. It's just a luck. What? Us voids originally didn't have a talent at all. They were all fake, given to us using Utsuro's luck. That's what our talent is. It's just as Ira has said. But Yuriko was still right. They still technically have a talent. Hajime is a genius famous amateur boxer, and Emma is a world-class actor. Iroha here is a painter from a proud family, and Nikkei is a capable reporter. However, in order to reach that position, the power from the heavens had to be used. Wait a minute, Sora said that if Utsuro dies, the luck he brought disappears, and the results caused by that luck will gradually disappear. Yeah? We're all losing our talents. Even if they were still protected by divine luck, we are still in a good position, but... So, even though our talents are gone, it was just a matter of time until someone noticed. Now you understand why I did this, you understand, right? We have to go through with this. Yeah, but what does painting have to do with that? 
Did she, like, make a lot of money from selling paintings or something? So what? Do you want me to feel sorry for you? You still did terrible things. Yuriko, calm down. Anyway, we have her answer. We know the reason why there are no capsules for the voids. So now we know. This was a part of the plan of Void. We were all just used by Mikado, me included. Only Mikado knows the, fi the full truth. Even with Iroha, nothing has changed. We still don't have definitive clues. No, although she was an enemy, Iroha is still one more ally. Now that we've joined forces, we can defeat Mikado. Yeah, but how? He's literally an admin, dude. How are we gonna do that? Now what's wrong? No, it's just like Monokuro says, I wouldn't be much help. Well, we didn't have any information before, but at least with Iroha now, we know all the Void members. Even if it's not a definitive clue, the more information we know, the better. Well, I have something I want to ask a little later, but first of all, let's investigate these capsules. We haven't even done that yet, we've been talking for this long. Oh my gosh. <sighs> wow. That's how she looks? What the heck? She looks so... Her hair is going over her eyes. She always had that eye closed anyway. Inside the machine was a different but still recognizable woman sleeping quietly. She's not sleeping. She's dead. Setsuka. She looks older than Yuriko, but I can still tell that it was her. Although it was with a fake memory in a virtual world, she was trying hard to end the killing school trip. She tried to help everyone until the end. It's nice to see her face after so long, but we all know that she's not there. Yeah. Perhaps if Shinji and Setsuka hadn't have been there, our bonds might have been broken. Even though it's all over, during the Killing School trip, her vacant seat in the trial hurt. Setsuka Chaibukuro. At this point in time, at this point in time, she was working as a private investigator. What? An investigator? Miss Chaibukuro was trying to capture all of the hidden rem remnants of despair. She made a big contribution. Because of this, she gained a lot of trust from the public, and she was practically called a symbol of hope. But she wasn't related to the 79th class. What? Then why did Mikado cap- Yeah, I'm sorry. I, I said what in real life, too. Like, I, what? Why did he do- She was connected to the Kisaragi Foundation, and was looking for him. What? Setsuka was a member of the Kisaragi Foundation? No, she was a private investigator who did not belong to the Foundation themselves. Just before she was forced into, into the killing game, she was commissioned by the Kisaragi Foundation. So she accepted and tried to capture Mikado? However, Mikado caught on to this and somehow managed to kid- How? Anyway, talent-wise, she was- Dude, have you seen Mikado? The dude looks like a scrawny hacker. How is he- Whatever. It'll all be explained. Anyway, talent-wise, she was perfect for the killing game. Because the Kisaragi Foundation itself was founded by the 79th class. With that, the conditions were satisfied. Then Setsuko was- caught looking for a void and got kidnapped? Well, for more details, you should check the profile yourself. Alright, let's do it. Name, Sutsuka Chaibukuro. She lost her right eye in an accident. That's why her eyes always closed. And won an amateur billiards tournament with the power of her transplanted eye. But soon after, she was expelled for the, from the billiards world for cheating. Since then, the de that's not- I mean, I guess that is kind of cheating. Since then, the detailed information is unknown. After the tragedy, she used the power of her photographic eye to become a private investigator. She contributed greatly to rebuilding society and finding the remnants of despair. Wow. Come to think of it, Nikkei knew that, right? That Sutsuka's eye functioned like a camera. What kind of insane surgery? Yeah, what? She was tracking down the remnants of despair, right? The mob that was infecting the streets. <laughs> Well, currently, most of them have been apprehended or just straight up disappeared. Fortunately, I do not know the exact request that she received. Or how she was caught by Mikado. An investigator capable enough to be called a symbol of hope. Kidnapped and you- Yeah! How? I'm really interested on who Mikado is. Do you know Araha? Well, even if you ask me, I don't know. Mikado only told us the information we needed to know for the plan. I told you before. It's my first time reading these profiles myself. Yeah, if I was Mikado, I wouldn't give the important information to a kid like you. What's that? Yeah, you, dude, Ira is like, what? Like 16? 15? She's literally a child. That being said, why does she need luck? Why would she need to involve herself in this? Come to think of it, Monocro, you said you can freely administer this world, right? Well, technically, yes, but not 100%. Mikado has not given me all the permission here. 
Then is it possible to recover the note that Setsuka left? Oh yeah! You mean the one that Kanade burned? Yes, Kanade said something like, what's this amazing note left by Setsuka? I want to know what it said. The contents might have something we can use against Mikado. Now Monocro, he's going to say. That's a great yeah, idea. Yeah. Of course I can. You're talking about the note Miss Kanade burned during the- Wait, what?! What do you mean you can? During the third trial, correct? Please wait a few moments. Dude! This is huge! Oh, I- I'm sorry, I didn't read. When I saw Setsuka, it immediately came to my mind. He's about to say some stupid crap. Hello? Are you serious? There's no- I- Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, whatever, Monocro. The recovery will be impossible. Why? You managed to restore the burnt Monocruise, so what's the problem? That is possible because there was existing backup data. The data on Miss Chibukuro's note has been deleted. The only thing I could think of is Mikado himself deleted the data, or... That's ridiculous. It was obviously something important that he had to remove it. Well, there's a lot of things we don't know about Mikado. Well, I thought I could be of great help. I apologize. It's not your fault. I guess it wouldn't just be that easy. But Sora, there's nothing that we can say to Monocro that will change anything. For now, we need to do whatever we can. Sorry, you're being strangely calm. What do you mean? Fortunately, it was just like I said. There was nothing we could do. What we've been able to gain from this is that the Kis Setsuka was commissioned by the Kitsuragi Foundation. At this point, neither Monica or Ayrha knew much at all. If we can escape this virtual world, maybe I should ask somebody in the Foundation about her. But what kind of request she received, and what kind of information she had about Mikado? I hope I can find out. This is gonna be the longest investigation ever, dude. Oh my god. Alright, so I actually want to get a sweater. It is so cold in my house, dude. It is so cold. Alright, let's just- Wow. What? They look so weird. They still have the, like, little note things on, in their hair, but... Wow. Inside the machine was a little different, but still recognizable women sleeping quietly. They're not sleeping! For like the 30th time, they're not sleeping, they're dead. Hibiki and Kanadi don't look that different. Well, they definitely look like adults compared to their young look before. Hibiki, and I don't even wanna, yeah. Yeah. Ayrha, did Void even know that Kanadi was a si Yeah, did they? I feel like they would know about that. I had no idea. I don't even understand what a person like that was doing in the planet in the first place. <laughs> <laughs> that is- she had the most potential to mess up everything, actually, I will say. Because if Kanade somehow killed a Void, or killed, um, Mikado himself- Okay, that probably wouldn't have happened. But if she killed a Void, that would mess up everything. So, Mikado would have had to, you know, do something. And when we met with Mikado, the plan was already set. Only Mikado knew the criteria for the personnel. All of them were just like Mikado's puppets. What did you expect? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't blame Ira too much. The rest of Void was just used by him, yeah. First of all, let's open the profile. Read it for yourself. Okay, so first is Hibiki. Name Hibiki Odenokoji. Before the tra before the tragedy, she was a vocalist who was popular in the band Melody Rhythm. After the tragedy, she real she revitalized the stagnant society. She created charity performances, which all the money was donated to restoration projects. That's really sweet. In addition to her band activities, she also participated in volunteer activities quite often. Because of these actions, she began to be called the next generation symbol of hope. Wow. And somehow Kanade is also a next generation. Kanade Odenokoji. Before the tragedy, she was a guitarist who was popular in the band Melody Rhythm. After the tragedy, she revitalized the Yeah, she did the same thing. Yep. Wow. And no one knew she was a serial killer. There's hardly any difference between them. Why is a killer who has <laughs> taken at least 60 lives considered a neg- Yeah, honestly, what? There's another strange thing I noticed. With this profile alone, there doesn't seem to be any connection to the 79th class of Hope's Peak. Actually, I only have the basic information about the twins. I was also amazed by Kanade's turn. What? Surely you should know everyone except Kokoro. Mm -hmm. Wait, I can make a theory, but it's not pre-entered information. Mikado might not have even known about Kanade's tendencies. How? Could that really be possible? I don't... Didn't Kanade say it herself in the third trial? This is the first time I've been caught. 
That must mean nobody ever caught her committing murder, which means that th it was left as an unprecedented case. The police trying to solve over 60 cases. Perhaps it could have been a connection with the police. The police? The director of the keys. Oh, Sarugi Kinjo. So she met him. How did he not apprehend her or something? I'm sure he had a close relationship trying to. Oh, because there was no evidence. Wow. The ultimate policeman? Yeah, he's someone you do not want to encounter. Think about it. Important figures around Melody Rhythm continue to disappear. Of course, at some point, the twins must have been interrogated. Yeah. Suruki Kenjo hates evil more than anyone else, and we we know that. It's hard to think that he wasn't on the case. What about Hibiki? She's not- Yeah, she is. No, at this time, Hibiki was also a suspect, the same as Kanade. She would have been interrogated, too. She would have been unknowingly, uh, what is it? An, uh, an accomplice in these murders. She wouldn't have known. That is so horrible. Because of, because of Kanade's true nature, she would have highly covered up her crimes completely. Therefore, I think Miss Hibiki would have met Kinjo at least once. Wait, isn't that a, li a little off? I don't know who Mikado was, but how did he find the serial killer that even the police couldn't find? Yeah, what? Dude, who is the- You saw that scrawny hacker, dude. There's no way. That's- I'm not too sure, I'm sorry. There's something I'm worried about, too. One condition Monocro said is that the next generation symbol of hope must be related to the 79th class. How do I explain? It just feels so odd to me, like a random selection. In fact, when I heard about the people and the plan, I did question the criteria a little. Mikado said that these people are enough. There is no alternative. There's no alternative? He said that because they would be too difficult to capture and everybody knew them. Well, kidnapping not one, but two celebrities wouldn't have been easy. How the hell does he have some- Yeah, what? If you think about it, we really didn't know anything about Mikado. The mastermind behind the killing game, the leader of Void. Even during the killing game, we couldn't find out his true intentions. We were just doing nothing. So now, now that we can investigate as freely as possible, being left alone gives me a weird feeling of incongru incongruity. The twins have been added to the truth bullets. Dude, what? Okay. Wait, hold on. Before I talk to Yuriko, I want to say something. So, did Kokoro... How was she involved in this? Because you saw what happened with her and Mikado. They were talking. So before Mikado put everyone into this AI program, did she let him put her into this plan? If so, why? Why would you risk your- especially her being that smart, being able to basically solve any trial, why would she allow herself to be in this situation? She's literally just letting herself die. This was literally, a, like, a death trap for her. I don't understand why Kokoro would be a part of this. If it was willing. If it was willingly. I'm, I'm, ki I'm kind of sure it wasn't, but... That, that does not make sense to me. Sorry, have we unlocked all the reset codes? Yes. It's just as Monaco said, the reset code initializes the restoration of tampered data. Iroh wasn't an avatar like me. She was always like this. Why am I being mentioned? Because we're talking about you. <laughs> That's right, Sora. Even when you've used the reset code on voids, it's safe to assume that their parents won't change. Yuriko, I know what you're implying. Then I'm a void too? Huh? Well, I'm not a hun- Wait. So our parents didn't change back to Akane Tyra? Why not? That is so weird. I thought it would. Wouldn't that make the most sense? That means something else is happening then. I'm not 100% sure. It would only make sense since your reset code works the same as the voids. I agree with you. As Yuriko said, my amnesia hasn't gone even after the reset code has been re uh, released. Sora, you thought Akane Tyra was dead. Maybe something got lost in the process. I'm not sure right now. Maybe Mikado was aiming to release Akane Tyra. You're in a different position to me, though, since you're one of the next generation hopes like Yuri. Um, I'm curious about something. What is it? Who exactly is Akane Tyra? What? Shouldn't you know? Iroha, you don't know who Akane Tyra is? This is the first time I've heard that name. She really did not know anything. Is that Sora's real name? What the hell are you talking about? The Void's new information about the killing game participants. That's how Nikkei knew about Setsuka's eyes? So how do you not know about Sora? Well, unlike everyone else, I didn't get any information on Sora. When I asked about you, Mikado just told me you are a participant. 
just a participant? Really, actually, I didn't even know her name in the first place. So I'd like to ask, who are you, Sora? Sora's real name is Akane Taira. Like you void, she was one of the children who was helped by Utsuro. Yeah. Oh. What? Sora? Wow, I guess she really didn't know. Dude, Ira is so clueless. You're not lying. Why would I lie about it? What? What? Uh, my name is Akane Taira. I was with Utsuro in his last moments. You were with Utsuro when he died? Shut up! Oh my <laughs> what is this? So you really are a part of the children of Utsuro. The children of Utsuro? It's just a name we called each other to the other children Utsuro looked after. In other words, Void. Mikado Sonoji called it Void. Originally, Nike was a leader, and it was a small group instead of an organization. We didn't have another name. And as soon as Mikado joined, he said that the children of Utsuro was over. Please give us the details. Sorry, you should already know if you, if you really were a member. Utsuro didn't just help one or two people. When Utsuro died, our luck d disappeared. With that, our talents disappeared. As a result of that, according to Mikado, they died. What? That makes sense. Nobody would notice a few extra deaths when there's a tragedy to- Yeah. Which is really horrible, but... Then without the power of luck, your life is at risk? How is the rest of Void alive? Well, death isn't guaranteed. But considering the sort of people Utsuro helped, you can imagine what would happen if their luck vanished. Divine luck itself doesn't cause death, it just makes people like me go back to their hell. And that would cause suicide. Isn't that right, Iraha? What? Even though they were all under the same luck, it depends on how much they needed that protection. That- he said that- That's right, some people's lives were saved as a result. Just as much as some people's small wishes were granted. Some people- I should not have done that, I'm sorry. And the degree of the disappearance matches the total amount of divine luck they received. I am not following at all, I'm gonna be real with you guys. I don't understand. So you're saying that the voids received a lot of protection, meaning that dis it's disappearing more slowly? Okay, wait, let me try to piece this together. So... It depends on how horrible your life was. That's how much, like, the trade-off of luck is. So the worse your life is, the more luck you're, you're going to receive. But, because Utsuro died, the luck that they're not receiving anymore would transform back into the horrible life that they had before that, that they got that luck. So, I'm not sure why Iroha needs luck when she's a painter. That doesn't really make sense to me. I'm Like, maybe she... I don't know. Maybe she wasn't making, like, sales of their art or something. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't understand why she needs to be involved in this. That's what I was trying to say. Thank you. Wait a minute. That reminds me of something. Of what? Doesn't matter. Anyway, this is just a virtual... Oh, yeah. And you are... are if you are Akane Taira, that doesn't matter if you're just her avatar or not. I'm sure you have some sort of relationship with Akane Taira. So that means Mikado Sanoji also knows about Akane Taira. Why? Yeah, see? He would no, he was working with Mikado, I'm telling you, dude. It doesn't make sense for him to say that. Mikado Sonoji tried to cover up Akane Taira? How would Sayabai know that? How do you- how don't you know that? What? Mikado was the only one in Void who knew about Akane Taira. Mikado knew about Akane Taira and hid it. Sayabai knew information about Void that Iroha herself didn't know, so that means he was working with Mikado. I wonder what happened. I- I know what happened, dude. Iroha. What do you want? <laughs> what? Why is he talking to us like that? Don't worry about what happened. It's in the past. But why did you knock me off the Tower of Babel? Oh my gosh. It's time. You gotta face your demons. There's no running from this now. It's over. It's over. <laughs> no, that wasn't- This stupid girl, I swear to god. You better- I sinned. I sinned it. I'm so sorry. Finally. Well, at the time, Mikado was threatening me, so I couldn't help it. So you were pressured to kill by him? Yeah, I really didn't want to. Honest, if I didn't, Mikado would have killed me. There's no need to tremble like that. I don't blame you, Iroha. I have no intention of looking down on you. Huh? But if you died... Let's not think of it like that. In the end, you ended up helping me get my memories back. What are you on about? It doesn't matter. I'll tell you later. If you truly feel sorry about it, you can always make it up to me later. Of course. Come to think of it, I have a question for you, Iroha. What is it? You said when you talked to Yuriko... You said it when you talked to Yuriko earlier, right? About Utsuro's children. Each of which received help from Utsuro as a child. And gained divine luck. 
So in many ways, it matches up with Void, so does that include you? Yeah. Well, in the case of me, I needed acknowledgement from the people around me. I can relate to that. On literally a spiritual level. Like, wow. You wanted recognition? You know how my family is known for being a generation of famous artists? My mother, my father, my sister, and my brother, all of them were full of talent, and I was drawing doodles. It was only me who couldn't do anything. Painting, sculpting, designing, whatever I did, I was always mediocre at. I couldn't fit into the first class family. You even deceived us with your art abilities. That's why I was given divine luck. I wanted to be acknowledged by my family, by the world, that's all I wanted. After I met Utsuro, I joined the Nijue family, like the others, and I became a great painter. So your painting ability was granted from Divine Luck. So that's why you joined Void? Because your talent began to disappear? Yes. But of course you know you had to commit crimes in Void, including murder. I'm not talented, I don't... You know, that's one of the things with this world that I don't like. People with talents are, like, held up on these pedestals. And people who aren't talented revert to things like this. They have inferior inferiority complexes, like Yuki. They they think they're nothing because they don't have talent. That is a horrible way to think, dude. That's that's so awful. Of course I knew I was a criminal, but you wouldn't understand. Calm down, I'm not trying to judge you. Sora, before meeting Utsuro, I was nothing. There was no other way. Like, dude, that... What do you have to go through to think like that, man? Like... Huh? Me who could only draw small little mediocre drawings. I was a big shame to my family name. So that's why they hid me from the public? What?! Everyone knows me as the youngest daughter of the Nijue family. But the cover-up story was that I had a mental illness, so I couldn't... This allowed me- this allowed them to keep me in the house without anybody asking questions. That's not a family! Of course my life wasn't affected that much. I had three meals a day and it wasn't an uncomfortable place. That's still- Except from eating and sleeping, I was stuck there painting in my room. Drawing. I couldn't go outside. I had 24 hour employee surveillance. Dude, what the... Does everyone have a horrible backstory in this game? Like... Oh my god, what? If I tried to do something or run away, my parents would have been contacted right away. And after that, punishment. Dude, I'd rather try to escape than live like that. That is not... that's not life. To have your own family confine you? Sounds like what happened to the Tower of Babel a few days ago. Guess what? The Tower of Babel felt better than staying in my room. I was so young at the time, I just... You are imprisoned until you are able to live up to our family name. That was the rules. You think I improved? I tried. Can you say that you liked manga? I enjoyed it since I was young, but after I was in prison, I couldn't even touch it. My family doesn't see manga or cartoons as art. I was only allowed to watch anime when I was blessed by the heavens. I got so much love from my family after that. The divine luck. Sora, you are blessed too, so you should understand. You were go if you were to go back to how you were before you met Utsuro, if you could somehow stop it, you would have made the same choice I did. Would I? I thought that Akane and Tyra died with Utsuro. If Utsuro died, that means, like Iraha, would I try to do anything to receive the luck? Utsuro. Are you about to die? 
Of course I wanted Utsuro to live, but me and Utsuro were criminals before people. If you die, you can't atone for your sins. But it's already happened and Utsuro is dead. He wanted to die for what felt like a lifetime, and in the end I put him down. Some people could say he just ran away without paying the price for everything he committed. But ethics and morality aside, I have something more important to me, Utsuro. If he wants you to do something, you have to do it. It brings you back to life. It brings back divine luck. To return to the hell or follow Utsuro. I don't have to worry about that anymore, right? What do you think, Sora? I think... I don't think. Okay, Sora. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, what? Why, wow, your expression turned blank when I was speaking to you. Oh, just wait a minute. I'm okay now. Okay? Well then... Anyway, that's my story. I don't know much about the others' backstories. All I know is that Hajime's was health, Emma's was wealth, and Nikkei's was power. Power? What does that even mean? What about Mikado? Mikado? I, I don't think anyone knows Mikado's backstory. I didn't ask. It's bad to pry into other people's past. Would have been mad at me if I asked. I see. Anyway, Iroha, I see how desperate every void was. But I'm in the same position. Even so, you're wrong. Yeah. I know I don't deserve to say this, but when this is all over, we should pay for our sins. As part of the children of Utsuro. That's right, we have to fight against Mikado to prevent the luck from being revived. What's wrong? Well, it's good to pay for your sins, but can't we find another way? Are you kidding me? Excuse me? I'm joking. No, you're not. Are you serious? If Utsuro comes back, we're all screwed. There's no escape. We're all going to die. Like, Kanetaira, hey me. What? Why are you talking to yourself? This discomfort, what is it? What do we do? I was thinking about the end. Okay, let's get out of here. What? What happened? I can't see. Where is everyone? Jericho, be careful where you're t What? I didn't mean it. What? What is happening? Monocro, are you here? Do something. Um. Dude, we're in a void! I'm deeply sorry I surprised you all. Let there be light. Sure, it's brighter, but everything is still dark. Well, it's not dark, it's something else. It's just like space. There's literally nothing here, yeah. But how can we stand if there's no floor? I apologize, I expected this, but it's harder than I expected. What are you talking about? Where the hell are we? <laughs> Sora, Yuriko, over there. What? What is that? It's Shinji! Wait a minute. All the singularities before have been at the previous murder location, so why is Shinji here? This is the Tower of Babel's power room. The remnants of it, anyway. The remnants? The Tower of Babel, as you know, is outside of Mikado's territory. I know that Nikkei made the Tower of Babel, but it's an object that doesn't exist in the original program, so when it rebooted, it looks like the data was removed. The Tower of Babel was deleted? Well, because the data that contained the tower was deleted, I moved Shinji to this empty space. You understand? Yeah, but Ira's stupid. So, <laughs> does the location really matter? Matter. Shinji's capsule is still here, and you can get the information right here. Guess you're right. All right, let's look at it. The Tower of Babel. Ever since we stepped foot into that tower, things began to get stranger and stranger. Nikki and Teria started to run wild and became aware, and I became aware that I was an enemy. Saibai's behavior changed soon after we left the Tower of Babel too. Huh? Wait, the so Tower of Babel is repaired by Nikkei. Sora, what's up? Araha, what is it? You don't, know, you don't know anything about the tower, right? No, I didn't know anything about it. Nikkei made it in the first place without the other Void's knowledge. At the time, Mikado said that Nikkei couldn't have done it at all. So if you didn't help Nikkei make the Tower of Babel, how the- what? Did, I don't remember him saying that, but sure. <laughs> I know it's a waste to ask, but do you know anything useful? Wait, I might actually know something. Just say it already. I'm not too sure, but Nikkei always said we should take Mikado's side because of that, I was stuck. But it got a little awkward with us, so there was more and more solo actions, maybe in that time. Sorry, it's okay. Nikkei's not the only one who could answer that question. Or Nikkei's the only one who can answer that question, and he's dead. And the tower's gone. For now, let's investigate what's in front of us rather than what we can't find out. 
I see, I'm sorry. Something was just bugging me. Why that sort of then let's let's investigate Shinji. Come on, please. Let's do this as soon as possible. This place feels very uncomfortable as a program. I wanna leave as soon as possible. Oh my gosh. What? Dude, Shinji? What it looks like he's in his forties. What the heck? Sleeping silently. Shinji, just how old were you? Late fifties? What? Middle aged by international standard of the current era. He's old enough to be our father. This guy was in his 50s? Well, Kokoro was quite- yeah, Kokoro was like 40-something, right? I think so. So it's not that surprising. Let's see. Dude. Named Shinji Kasai. Ever since he was young. Er, ever since he was a young man, he was hardworking. He was a hardworking firefighter. He was responsible for saving many lives during his time on duty. At one point, he was fairly in a high position, but he was too reckless and crossed the line. His health was never the same. Thanks to his wife and children, he began to recover slightly and became a security guard. Nevertheless, when the tragedy hit, he took off and began to save countless people from disasters. He's proud to become the first... Next generation! He was the first one? That's actually incredible. For his work. He fought to help everybody using his firefighting abilities until the tragedy ended. That's amazing, Shinji. Just as he were. Just as he was here. He's an uncle figure for us all. Shinji was married? That's what you're focusing on? <laughs> Remembering the Shinji we know, I'm not too sure how a guy like that got married. How did he get kidnapped? Sora, too soon. I'm joking. What's his relationship to the 79th class? Shinji had a great influence in resolving all the despair. He was a great man all around. If he didn't act, the death toll would have been much higher. There's no record of him enrolling in Hope's Peak, but he really does compare it to an ultimate. True talent. Honestly. Since he saved the lives of most people, including the 79th class, you could say he was incredibly indi indirectly related, but his most decisive move was saving the life of a young Kanada Inori. Oh! Yeah, the ultimate surgeon! She died horribly. She died in such a horrible way. Kanada Inori. Kanata lived alone after losing her family in a tragic car accident when she was just young. The life of Missy Nori was saved by Shinji, who arrived as an active firefighter at the incident. Wow. She was in critical condition at the time, and he used his friendship with Hikaru Ando to get her the help she needed. Both of them seemed to have gotten close after saving Kanata's life. For reference, the director called Hikaru is currently working in the medical team for the Kisaragi Foundation? What? What's with that look? Is there something you don't understand? It's not that, it's just a lot of information. Kanada, Hikaru, I don't know them very well. Me too. You can see why I wouldn't, but shouldn't you? I keep telling you, Mikado said all the preparations were done. Except for Sora, who's a 79th class member. I'm in a similar situation to you, Yuriko, right, Sora? Um, Sora? Yeah, that's right. You know, you'll be there. Dude, what is wrong with Sora? Huh? Um, anyway, Shinji was the first of the next generation symbols of hope. One could view him as the leader of the group. Even without the connection of the 79th class, Mikado would have chosen him, I assume. Well, this is this roughly about it for Shinji? There's not much more to say, let's move on. According to the rules so far, the Twin Towers are next, right? Well, I mean, this is the last singularity. What? As Yuriko stated, the twins were at the other murder site, so Terio is the only one remaining. To be honest, I'm not sure if we can properly investigate Terio. Why is that? Unlike you who are using a genuine connector from the Neo World program, Terio's entrance was made from another location. What? This is too confusing. So you need to understand the explanation. All of you right now are lying in the same room in reality. Yeah, that's what I said. They all have to be like connected to the main program through those different pods in real life. If they don't have pods in here, that, I guess, makes sense. But it wouldn't make sense for them to just be connected to the program, like, without a pod. That's not possible. That should not be possible. The Neo World program is quite bulky. Because of this, the connection has to be con concentrated in one room. By the way, Terio wasn't a part of Mikado's plan from the beginning. He and the other Kisaragi member accessed the program through alternative methods. You're talking about Ray? Ray answered the same way. Wait, Monocro, this is a contradiction. Sora said that she met Ray in the Tower of Babel, but she was obviously burned to ashes on her first day. 
If death in the virtual world is death in real life, then how is she alive? Miss Makaru is alive? Yes! Monocross said the connector is different, right? Maybe that one doesn't cause death. No, even if the connection method is different, the program connects directly to the brain. As evident by Teria becoming completely dead. Yeah. Interesting how Makari was alive. I don't know for sure. Can we just ask her directly when we enter the real world? Problem solved. Any more questions? I want to leave. You're really desperate. Do you hate the- Dude, stop asking questions! You wouldn't know, I just feel worrisome. Anyway, when you're ready to head to the last area, please talk to me. Wait, the next one is the- Well, yeah! Sora? There were five killings you experienced in this game, so the singularity numbers would be the same. The people who have died so far. Yuri, Kokoro, Setsuka, the twin Shinji. What? That's not six people. You forgot Teria. Sixteen participants, there were five- Yeah, you forgot a lot of people. Remaining five left, Yuriko is the same as the dead symbols, and I am Akane Tara. Yuki is Void's purpose itself, then all that remains is... What about Teria and Sayobai? Teria belonged to the Kisaragi Foundation and was captured trying to rescue us. What about Sayobai? Surely he can't be a symbol. Um... Sayobai is quite irregular, you could say. What? Why is Iroha doing that? You don't have to say it, Monocrawl. I'll ask my friend. Iroha, I'm talking about you. Me? Well, I'm not sure. Sayobai? What do I know about him? Dude, come on! I can tell you're lying, you know. What is so bad about Sayobai? Do you know the identity of Sayobai? Yes. No, by the way. Can I say... He said you'd help us. The least you can do is answer a few questions. Or what? I guess there's still no redemption for you. Hiroko, what are you trying to say? Please be... <laughs> well, we can't really do that if you're lying to our face. You start being nice and I'll be nice. And stop screaming at me. I'm older. Treat me with respect. Curls, you're both pretty. Now calm down. <laughs> so I, I knew it! I said this! He was Void's collaborator. What? Collaborator? Wait, Nikkei said something like that at the Tower of Babel. So he wasn't lying about that. But he did lie that it was Shinji. Obviously it wasn't Shinji. Everyone knew that. Wait, so wasn't... Nikkei, Nikkei wasn't lying about that? It's not a lie. We knew who the collaborator was. It's Sayobai. Don't misunderstand. I don't know what Sayobai was supposed to do. The only person who knows what the collaborator was actually doing was Mikado. Wait, so everyone knew Sayobai was the co- Wait, so Sayobai ratted out Emma. Knowing that Emma- Oh my god. Dude, what a rat. Are you kidding me? Wow! Didn't Nikkei say that none of the other members knew apart from Mikado? Nikkei was that kind of person. I've told a lot of lies too, but I don't think I'm such a bad person. I mixed the li Dude, no, that's still lying! So Nikkei ta talked about the insider avoid being Shinji when it was actually Sayobai? But he fought against Mikado on the first island, so... What did that mean? I'm not so sure about the- No, that was just a show. He was just doing that to do that. Sayobai was a man who took employment seriously, remember? Employment? So if you gave him a certain amount of money, he would do anything without hesitation. But Saibai didn't know about Mikado when we started the killing game. Well, what happened between Mikado and Saibai, I'm not sure. Saibai's memories might have been manipulated like all of yours. Wait, so he looked that awful even in high school? I wonder what he looks like now. <laughs> no, Saibai... Oh, wait, so that's how he actually looks. Since he was hired for the plan, he wouldn't need... To be, he wouldn't be a symbol of hope, and he wasn't related to- Wait, so he's not actually the ultimate broker. He's just a broker. Whatever, I still see him as the ultimate broker. I don't care. <laughs> he kind of manipulated Sayabai's memories? Why would he do that after paying him? Well, that's all I can tell you about Sayabai for- Oh, come on! What? I really doesn't seem to know more- Oh, he doesn't actually know. Okay. If you think about it, Sayabai and the Tower of Babel seemed a little different. Especially on the fifth island when he mentioned Akane Tyra. He suddenly disappeared before my eyes too. Did he recover his memories at some point? Yeah, no. He definitely found his reset code once they got to the fourth island because it said administrator code activated. So he already had his thing activated at that point. Like, that was, that was, I think that was pretty obvious. Because he said, in the trial, he said he wanted to check something out, and he wouldn't, like, answer about what that thing was. So at that point, he recovered his memories. I think it was pretty obvious. I was unintentionally helping you, but looks like I gotta do what I was paid for. What does that even mean? 
Saibai was the collaborator of Mikado, then what did that mean? What do you know about the Kisaragi Foundation? Well, I don't have much information on the Foundation either. Our information hasn't exactly got a conclusion, we're just left with more questions. The easiest answer to them would be from Mikado's own mouth. I don't think he would tell us so easily. Yeah, and he would probably kill us for escaping the execution. So, I don't think we should encounter Mikado willingly. That doesn't sound like a good idea. What's the real Mikado doing? He wasn't part of our execution, so he's gotta be alive somewhere. I see. Mikado appears like a ghost and brings misfortune. That's just him. Sora and Saibai- Sora said that Saibai is gone, and Yuki too. I'm not so sure he's around? I'm not sure about Mikado, but I can sense Yuki. He seems to be in the next singularity, probably trapped there like Iroha was. For now, there's nothing else for us to do here. Let's go find Yuki. Mikado, the Kisaragi Foundation. All of our problems are about to come together. We need a plan. You're right. Yeah, um... I'm not so sure about this. I feel like we're in between two very opposing threats. Kinjo is a very chaotic person. I don't think he's to be trusted. I'm happy to see him. I, I was really happy to see him because you know he's a survivor. He's 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 a really strong and uh, iron-willed character, but he's he's insane. He is insane. Um, there is a lot he's been through, so I can understand him being like kind of a sociopath, but. I don't think we're in a good place. Between Mikado and the Kisaragi Foundation, I don't think... I think we gotta find a way to slip by both of them. Because... One, Akane Taira is a criminal. If we come out of that pod, and the Kisaragi Foundation uh, arrests us, we're fucked. We're quite literally screwed. Like... Oh man. This is, this is gonna be tough. I wanna see how this plays out though. Here we are. Oh my gosh. Are you okay, Sora? Oh my god. We've arrived. The final place in the error program. It's a singularity, but not a singularity. It's the fifth singularity. Is this the Higa City's Twin Towers? We've come full circle. Sora, are you okay? Sora, what's wrong? No. What's wrong with me? I got chills and goosebumps the moment I, the moment I stepped foot in here. It's different from just feeling dizziness, and it's a weird sensation that's hard to explain. What is happening? Are you all okay? What? I feel a bit dizzy, but I'm used to it the fourth time around. Is there something wrong? No. I'm fine, don't worry. Uh... Was I fine? Why am I the only one who felt that? This feeling is immediately setting off warning sirens in my head. What is about to happen? Oh, as you all know, Terry must be here somewhere. As I said, he's connecting differently to this world, however. I cannot conclude if his data is still intact or not, until I see him for myself. So where is Teria? He's probably in the warehouse. Now wait a minute. What? Wait for what? Sora. There's- I'm not sure what it is, but there's something there. I feel danger coming from that warehouse. What do you mean? Yori, yori. Sora, I don't know what you mean, but if we don't go through this door, you cannot see Yuki. Yuki's in there? No, don't. What? What's my problem? It's like that sensation I had during the third trial. I'm hesitating because I can't figure out what this creepy sensation is. Suddenly, something began to move. What? Dude, what is happening? Sorry, you can feel it too, the sign! Yuki? Who's there? Mikado?! He has Yuki! What? What is wrong with his face?! It's been a while, you damn fools. Surviving like cockroaches, I guess I should congratulate you. This plan should have ended much earlier, but now I've disregarded that plan now. What the heck? Does he not have a reset code? Is that like glitching out his face or something? Is that why he's... What is wrong with him? The person who opened the warehouse door was... Mikado Sinoji. I cannot forget a horrid face like that. Also, his face now has emotion. You can see the right- I did- Okay, this is my right, but- Yeah, the right side of his face now has emotion. As if a pre his previous attire wasn't creepy enough, his new mask and shape takes it to a whole new level. And there was someone in the arms of Mikado. It was Yuki. Dude, he is completely gone. Look at his eyes. 
He's finally made his appearance. Mikado, don't kill us. Don't be so cautious. I have no intention of taking your life. I don't believe that for a second. <laughs> he just tried to execute us. What are you talking about? The simply because- No, that is such a load of crap. No. What did you do to Yuki? What did I do to him? I didn't do anything. It's it's your fault he's like this. What are you talking about? What? Don't worry, he's alive, just unconscious. By the way, something unexpected has happened. Quite embarrassing. What is wrong with him? What is wrong with him? And despite you not knowing my plan, you brought them all here, Monocro. What? Plan? Monocro? No, don't rush to conclusions. I am I am your ally, not your enemy. Mikado, I don't know what you're planning, but I am no longer under your control. This must be the limit of your use- Okay, this- His sprites are starting to creep me out. This must be the limit of your usefulness. What? Unfortunately, your role ended a long time ago. No matter how important you were, I can't have you flying around doing what you want. I have no- Dog. Don't do it. No. For saying that, Mikado began to- No! 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 What? Dude, we gotta take his admin rights away. This is ridiculous. He's literally unstoppable. Monocrow. Monocrow's dead? A sharp spear of flames created by Mikado pierced through Monocrow's body. The spear burned brightly and began to explode Monocrow's body from within. Dude. Mikado. No, I can't. In the beginning, I... Dude, he's... He's dead. This man just said he had no intention of killing us. And then kill someone in front of us. What? You know, I didn't believe him in the first place, but, like, come on. Are... Monocro's body was completely destroyed. Monocro. Rest well, Monocro. He was only a substitute for the far more useful AI... Or Monokuma, anyway. Just a simple AI. You... Now that the side characters are gone, shall we move on to the final act? What... What else do you have planned? What else could... We already have our memories back, and now we know the truth. We don't fit into your plan anymore. So let us out of here. You think that's gonna work? Are you kidding? I'll let you go. Stop being dramatic. It's over anyway. What? I have no intention of taking any more lives. That is not true. Well, I will admit, according to the original plan, you should have all been executed and died. However, since things turned out like this, a revision of the plan was needed. So I'll spare your lives accordingly. I really don't trust him. That is such a wor that's such a load of crap. Wouldn't you say it makes sense? Do you really think we just trust you that easily? <laughs> you really don't intend to harm us. Hand over Yuki. I don't think he's gonna do that. What? Yeah, why would you even mention that? I'm sorry, what did you say? I think I heard you wrong. You wouldn't ask for that. She really wants to die. Let's not comrade let us let's not let us comrades fight. Someone like you. I Mikado, mean, your avatar seems to change a bit? Nothing like that happened to us, and your avatar seems broken. Okay, good. Good. I will return Yuki to you, but I cannot at the moment. I will when we are finished. Not only that, I will let you return to your peaceful daily lives with no harm. I swear on my name. What? Dude. They kind of began to shout with, a, uh, with an obscene gesture. Countless times we've been tricked by his speeches. There's something wrong here. He's got to be lying. He is lying. In the end, it looks like our killing skull trip has been extended. As long as Mikado, the masked man who planned this all, doesn't let us, there's no hope of escape. Like when Rei was burned on the first day, fragments of Monocro were still scattered everywhere. Even though this was a virtual world, the smell of burning felt real, like it was breaking our will of resistance. Our options were s slowly disappearing from us, little by little. What do you want us to do? If I'm honest, the rest of the plan from now on will be improvised. Strictly speaking, my plan was 99% successful. It doesn't seem that way since it failed. The 1% did fail, probably due to the outside inter interference, but that matters not to me. I have insurance. Utsuro. Huh? Has Yuki already been taken over by Utsuro? Is it not possible for the original Yuki to come back? Sora. An amazing question. The simple answer is yes. You have nothing- That doesn't answer anything! As you all know, you're saying yes! You can't 
say yes to a question like that? As you all know, Void's plan is the resurrection of Divine Luck. To do that, we need to resurrect Utsuro. However, that doesn't necessarily mean we have to sacrifice Yuki. What do you mean? Do you not understand? In other words, Utsuro cannot be revived with Divine Luck, and Yuki can be brought back to live his own life. Er, Utsuro can be revived with- okay. A happy ending where everyone wins. Isn't that what you want? There's no need to fight each other, right? Dude, there's no way that's gonna happen. This is such a load of crap. If that was possible, why did you put us all through the killing game? Is there a need for me to answer all your questions? The thing I say is true. The choice is yours in the end. You can all have your happy ending or not. Um, is this really true? No, it's not. I don't, know, don't believe him, but I can't help it. I'm not gonna try to resist and look how he turned out. We can't beat him. Also, if Mikado planned to kill us, he would have done so already. Am I wrong? You're not wrong, but... Yuriko, it's okay. It doesn't matter if he's lying or not. If we don't follow him, he'll just kill us. That's true, we should accept it. Sora. Mikado, if you betray us, no matter what happens, I won't let you escape. I will attack you head on and take back everything you've taken from us. And stop your plans. Fine by me. Yo, I'm liking this, man. I'm like, this is, this is heating up. Fine, but this is the last time I'll go along with your plans. What should we do from now on? Let's see. From now on, we're going to work on completing the last 1% of the plan. It's simple. What I want you to do is the same as you did during the killing school trip. The class trial. The final class trial. Another class... Dude, there's only like four people. What? How are we going to do a class trial? Originally, the fifth class trial should have been the last. No, the plan should have finished after that. The last judgment should have... The last judgment ended up in disaster. So if we wish to get the good ending, we have to try again. Damn it, that means someone else has to die after all. Oh, do not mistake my words. We will not be discussing a murder case. We will discuss the truth, specifically my plan. About Void's plans, the killing school trip, and the next generation symbols of hope. You came here with Monocro and collected information on the way, correct? Mikado, are you asking us to figure out your plan? Put it together, the plan I worked my whole life for. If you discover the truth, I will let you live. And if you fail, if we fail, it shouldn't matter. Regardless of the <laughs> you have the right. <laughs> He's obviously gonna kill us if we fail. Like he just <laughs> what? You have the rest of your life to do it. Like, don't do those words alone. Not place distrust in him. Like, come on. That means we have to remain here forever. That means he's gonna kill us. I value results over anything else. No matter how perfect the process is, if the result is a disaster, it will all be in vain. Ironically, the class trial is more of a process in itself than a result. Even the process of making the class trial itself is a result. What are you talking about? Does that mean you don't care about what we do in the class trial? Can I continue what I was saying? You just need to clear the class trial and my plan will be complete. Okay. What should we do, Sora? Doesn't it sound suspicious? There must be something up. We can't do anything. We just have to go along with what he's saying. Sora, you said you were going to attack Mikado head on. Any plans? No, I don't have a plan. I'm sorry. Huh? For Mikado, it's the same. His plan should be ruined. Actually, this is because of the, some outside interference. Who in the real world is trying to sabotage Mikado? Maybe someone from the Kisaragi Foundation? As long as we're in the real- as long as we're in the virtual world, all we can do is wait for someone to come help us. But if they could help, wouldn't they have before? I guess it was- no, the keep I should have read that. I keep doing that! No, the Kisaragi Foundation must have done it. I don't think we would have survived the execution without them. This means the Foundation is finally acting, and it's proof they won't let Mikado escape. But why are they acting so late? Is this going to be a tough fight? I don't ex exactly know what Mikado's after or why the Kisaragi Foundation is helping us. I don't think they're helping us. I think they're just doing that to interfere with Mikado. I think this is the best we can do for now. Like, honestly, th if you think about it, the only innocent person here is Yuruko and Yuki. That is literally it. Iraha is a void. She's a criminal. Sora is a criminal too. She helped Utsuro. Like, th there's no escape for us. It's like, this is horrible. What should I do? One, one option after the other. No tactical meeting? <laughs> well, it's decided. Let's move immediately. Now, with the sudden reboot, there's a lot of errors all over the place. This time, we're going straight to the final trial grounds. Let's go. This will be the end of everything. The fi How is Yugi going to participate? He's literally unconscious. The final trial guns, where is that? That will be all. Follow me. Um. What the heck? 
What is what is this? Yuki is still unconscious. Uh, this is a vacant spot in Higa City, so there should be nothing here. Originally, if you entered this place, you would be in an infinite loop of a forest and eventually come back. But I've configured it to show a building in the vacant spot as a failsafe in case the system reboots. That building? Yes, the final judgment room. Let's go. Ah, oh, man. What the heck? We went into the woods with Mikado without a word. Soon the thick fog cleared and the appearance of a huge tower began to appear. This has a very different feeling from the Tower of Babel. It's an overbearing feeling. What do you think? Is it grand voice enough for a finale? This is the final judgment room? Was this prepared for an emergency or were you always planning for this? I won't say expected, but I'd say prepared. Honestly, I'm quite happy to be revealing this. Even more happier than I was when Nikki confessed to being a void. However, my plan was already in motion. Being here makes me feel like there's nothing else to fail. How long are you planning to keep Yuki like that? Even if he's unconscious, do you plan to involve him in the class trial? Don't worry about that. When you arrive in the Judgment Tower, you will understand. I don't like this. There's nothing we can do, though. Like, what are we supposed to do? Finally, the environment is worth seeing. It doesn't look that different. The elevator is exactly the same. This part is copy-pasted. However, unlike the last elevator, this one goes to the sky instead of the underground. Class trial in the sky while we admire the scenery. Wouldn't that be the perfect for the final chapter? Dude, you're so extra. Okay, now that's it. He snapped his fingers and... What? Yuki disappeared? Yuki? Where did you send him? Yuki will take a special little role in the class trial. A special role? Don't you know? Yuki is a key in Void's plan. That's what it means. Yuki's unconscious avatar is his vessel that will soon be resurrected. He could not participate in the trial. So I pulled out the mind of Yuki and put it elsewhere? What does that even mean? How do you do that? What? Did you just say he was unconscious? Oh, you don't have to worry, my friends. I did promise, remember? Yuki will be returned to you. Your promises don't mean crap. And you can return to your peaceful daily life. There is no harm in you all living, so I don't mind. Anyway, Yuki is already in the trial grounds. Being shown being shown using a separate display. At the end of the trial, anything, everything will go back to normal, so I ask you to focus carefully. Is there anything else you'd like, you'd want to ask? Um, no, I don't think so, so now are you all ready? Yuriko, we have to do this. I know. Should we really be following his words so easily? I wonder if it's really the right thing to be doing, but if it's true that Yuki's still alive, we have to do this. Yuriko, we need to join forces. Why was I mentioned too? I'm with you too. Oh, right. <laughs> Why do I think that she's just gonna betray us again? Because she's selfish? I won't. I've definitely made up my mind. Are you just doing this to stay alive? Of course not. She literally is. She just is. Like it or not, running away isn't an option. As Mikado said, this is the final chapter, the finale. The grand events around us start to push us towards the end. Somehow I want to prolong this as long as possible and hope somebody will come to intervene. Because there's still a chance for us to fight, fight back. The elevator doors are open. Let us go to the final stage. Dude, we literally ca What? For the last time. Mikado, were you telling the truth? Is it really true? Of course. The bad things are now over. Now everything finally begins and ends with this elevator. I don't want to fight, but I will if I have to. So if anybody wanted a chance to attack, now would be the last time. What happened? What? 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 Oh no! This is not good! This is not good! Oh no! Oh no! 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 Oh my god, dude, I'm scared to press next! Oh shit, this is so bad, this is so bad. No. Huh? So that's it. I finally confirmed it with my own eyes, there's no need to rush it anymore. Dude, this is horrible. Who? 
Due to the backlight, it was hard to see who it was. What happened? Did he pull us out forcefully? Where am I? No. I thought he died. You thought Kinjo died? Why? So we were in pods! I told you, dude! What the heck? Kinjo is actually here. He had, dude, he has sprites and everything. He looks so weird. What is up with his face? Why is his face like that? It didn't take me long to realize that I was lying somewhere. There was a man looking down at me. He was wearing a cap with a long brim, covering his right eye. His sturdy physique was pale, and he rode around in a wheelchair as if he was somehow weak. He's in a wheelchair now? This is the first time I see it. No, this is the first time I've seen it. Somehow it all looks familiar to me. This person. Oi. Kaisuke, it's time. I'm waiting for Ryotaro. Yes, Director. Prepare the deployment of the crew. Surugi Kinjo. You're insane. It's been a while, Ray. Seems like you've had some troubles. Um... I guess I'm right? Good. Just die. I'll keep punching you until you do. What? What is happening? Wait, Miss Makaru, stop. It's okay, Kaisuke. I should be the one speaking. I agree. <laughs> First, we need a status check on the crew. Then we need a briefing. Yes, sir. Dude, what is happening? So, Ray, there seems to be a lot of things you need to tell me. Do you know the situation I'm in? That's what I want to ask. Huh? I apologize. You acted alone hiding it all this time. It must have been embarrassing for you. Sayobai. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Oh my god, it's so good to see all of them, but what is happening? You sure came quick, it's you! Right. About me, Kato Sinoji, is it done? Yeah. <laughs> Director, you know I'd do anything for money, but don't ask me to do something like that again. In the end, I ended up betraying my client, Mikado, all for the sake of money. Sayobai, dude, you gotta get your priorities straight, you almost died. Are you trying to preach to me now? You're just a crook. <laughs> Level one crook. That actually kind of scared me. What? What is? What is wrong with him? Why is his eye like that? I mean, I know why his eyes like that, but oh my god! Don't speak to me more than I ask you to. You're just a tool I bought with money. You see, that's the psychotic side of him that I was talking about. You ain't wrong. I made this decision too. He was in the virtual world. Surugi, what the hell? Save it for later, Ray. There's more pressing matters at the moment. Do you even know what happened to Teria? <laughs> He's gone. He's dead. Really dead. You... You left him alone without knowing what to do. But instead of relying on him, you sent someone else. You bastard. What excuse are you going to come up with this time, huh? Try me. Soda. His death was a sacrifice Are you kidding me? Ray, don't forget, we are on an active duty. Put your personal feelings aside. Isn't that your specialty? You know, after seeing her from the first game, I feel like this is the character development she needed. I'm glad she's alive. I really didn't like her at all in the first game because she was a really, like, stubborn person who didn't care about anyone else. She just kind of cared about herself. So it's nice to see her with emotion. But wow... What should I do? Thank you, Ray. <laughs> Shut up and give me orders! Sir. First of all, we need to secure the lives of the survivors who have awakened from the Neo World Program Mark II. Mark II because people die when they're inside the program, which is stupid. What's going on? No, how long will I be lying here? Is Sora unconscious or something? I tried to stand up carefully, but this whole body doesn't seem to have been used for a long time. The muscles are screaming in pain, but somehow I successfully moved my body. Looks like I'm being ignored. I should try to understand my situation some more. What? I can't talk to Sayabai or Ray. What about... Okay. Hello there. Surugi. 
Wait, Mr. Kinjo, Sir Karim, what should I say? Um... How long is he going to ignore me for? He's quite different from how I remember him, but I've certainly seen him before. He was one of the, he was one of the survivors from the killing game of the 79th class of Hope Speak Academy students. The former ultimate police officer and chief of the Kisaragi Foundation, Tsurugi Kinjo. According to what Terius said, so you're the leader of the Kisaragi Foundation. Why is he not talking? What is wrong with him? It's been quite a not while now. How awkward. Director, the squad has been deployed. What's the next order? Suga. Nice job. I'll start the briefing shortly. Where's Ryotaro? Probably with the intelligence team. The head of the department put him there. Contact the communication team. No need. I'm already here. Um, Ryotaro. Kinjo, what have you done? It's just as Ray always says, despite being on the same team, you always do things your way. Ryotaro, why are you saying that? The Foundation is also involved in this. Also, it's normal for him to decide what everybody does. He is the director, after all. So Tyria died without knowing anything? Kinjo, you knew full well that Tyria would follow your orders without hesitation. Ryotaro. Leave it, Kaisuke. Okay. Ryotaro, I understand why you're angry, but save it for later. We're not done here yet. Also, we're working. Please address me as director or boss. Always working, Kin. Boss, have you ever thought of us as people? Terio was your friend. Have you seen the state of Rei right now? Ryotaro Maki. <sighs> what do you think you're doing? Miss Makaru. We're working. There's no point in saying meaningless words, remember? But... Ryotaro. Excuse me, I'll start the briefing. I hope they stay quiet. Hey! Yeah, why is there- What is happening? What are they doing? Why are they arguing? Who are they in the first place? Are they members of the Kisaragi Foundation? Someone explain. Thanks for the report, Ray. Shut up. Good. We will begin working to secure the survivors. According to the information from the broker, there are three survivors. Yuriko, Iroha, and Yuki Maeda. What? What about me? What? Surugi, listen to me. I'm alive. Makane Tara, alive and well. The criminal you hate so much. Why are you saying that? Kaisuke, with Team 1 and Ryotaro with Team 2, evacuate the two women. Yuki Maeda, I'll take care of myself. Alright. Ryotaro, thoughts? Let's go. Well, let's move. Ray, would you come with me? Hi, hi. Sure. Yo, Director, can I have a sec? Nanda. What is it, scum? There's not three survivors, but two. What? What? You already checked the Kane Taira. The only ones left are Yuriko and Ira. Impossible. Yuki Maeda must be there too. Couldn't find him. Not here. What are you talking about? No, wait. Saibai, what happened? Yeah? Where is Yuki? Why are you asking me? I've got no clue. What are you talking? What? What? Dude, this guy. <laughs> I'm messing up my words because I'm so dumbfounded by this guy and his smugness. What are you talking about? You literally have seen Yuki. All you paid me for was in our, was to do it in our contract is to deal with Mikado and that's solved. Aren't my duties fulfilled? Don't lie, trash. I know you're hiding something. Tsurugi. He's right. There are 13 connecting devices. I just checked. At first, 15 people were invi involved in the case. Even after confirming the identity of the corpses, I could not find the bodies of Mikado Sanoji or Yuki Maeda? Are they in separate areas? Or something? Where are they? Kaisuke Ryotaro, the two of you will begin to evacuate the two women as directed. I will check for myself, side by you hi, too. Hi. Yeah, yeah. What is happening? Huh? Why is- Yeah, why- What is happening? That's not what I should be worried about. Nobody's even noticing that I'm here. It's like I don't exist. What is this phenomenon? Am I dreaming? Am I actually still in the virtual world? Ah, uh, oh, she's out! Yuriko, you're okay! Ah, uh, I... Excuse me, can you hear me? How many fingers am I holding up? Where am I? Who are you? Where's Mikado? Calm down, I'm from the Kisaragi Foundation. Are you Yuriko Kabuya? Kisaragi Foundation? Then, wait. This is the real world? Yeah, sorry for being late. We had many delays due to certain incidents. What could possibly take priority over this? Do you know how many people died because they were late? Like, what? The Foundation, then. Is it true we're alive? Yuriko, can't you hear my voice? 
Hey, don't try to run. Wait. Ah! <laughs> IRS trying to run. Ryotaru, catch that chick. She's one of the prime suspects. Wait, stop. Wait, what? Ira? Don't you know that girl over there? That girl is a major contributor to, to your situation. We will first detain her and hand over to law enforcement. Oh yeah, if we escape from the virtual world. Sora and Yuki? Sora? Please wake up. Ah. Hey, are you okay? You've been weighed down for days, so your muscles will have contracted. Don't move around too much. Where is Sora? Huh? What are you saying, Yuriko? I'm right. Dude, what is- what- Am I, like, invisible? Is it- Am I, like, a ghost floating around? Like, what is happening? I don't know if this Sora girl you speak of. The only survivors here are you, that runaway girl, and Yuki. Just you three. What? That's not true. I'm definitely alive. Yuki Maeda's status hasn't been confirmed yet. He appears in the data, but the director is confirming it. No, you're lying. Sora's dead? You don't know who Sora is? If you have doubts, I'll help you check the access devices to the Neo World program if you want. What the hell is going on? Yuriko, just look at me. What? Huh? I tried to stop Yuriko from looking at me, but nothing happened. My hand went directly through Yuriko's body. No sensation was felt in my hand. Just a feeling of reluctance, like putting your hands through smoke. Sora. Why can't anyone hear me? Why am I invisible? The moment I went through Yuriko's body, I witnessed a strange phenomenon. I was faintly able to understand why. It was a truth that I didn't want to realize, but I had no choice but to accept it. What? Careful, don't trip. This way. The man and Yuriko walked over carefully. They arrived at the capsule from which I woke up from some time ago. No way. What? Is this the person you call Sora? Unfortunately, she's... What? I ran and I came back, but Sora, why? Why haven't you woken up? Are you kidding me? Wake up, Sora. She can't wake up. Because she died a- WHAT?! Dude, what is- <laughs> This is too much for me. How? That does not make sense. How was I in the killing game at all? That literally doesn't make sense. What? This girl's name is Akane Tara. She died before the Foundation was even founded. But a few days ago, we got intel that she was alive. Then why- Listen carefully. To be precise, it would be more correct that- Er, to say that only her body is alive. Only her body? For some reason, her brain stopped functioning. Her body's metabolic functions work correctly, but it would be more right to say she's brain dead. What? Dude, what the- Don't be ridiculous, that can't be true. Sora is- was alive. She's still alive. In the virtual world. Ugh. Even if she was only virtual, BCI is a way of connecting with the brain. How could it connect to her brain if she's dead? We're not sure. First of all, it's crazy that the cardo- Cardo- The function is still working without the aid of machinery in such a brain-dead state. I don't know how many years she's been like this, but without a doubt, there's been a lot of mysteries surrounding her. Can't be. Why- Why now, after it was all over? Sounds like you got pretty close to Akane Tyra. Do you even know everything she did? Besides, I'm sorry to say this after I've just rescued you, but... You're under a WHAT?! Dude, I told you the freaking stupid foundation is so stupid. Oh my god. What are you arresting her for? She didn't have anything to do with Void. You're hereby under arrest for working in a bu- That was like 40 years ago! Are you kidding me?! It seems like you've done well to hide it so far, but that doesn't matter. A crime is a crime, so we have to do this. Are you actually kidding me? Do you know how many, how many years ago that was? That... That has nothing to do with the current situation. Seriously, do you have your prior- Is your brain messed up? Mommy. What the hell? Wait, let go of me. Well, that's absolute. Yuriko Kabuya, you're going to be detained just like your friend over there. After that, the Foundation leader will decide what to do with you. It's been a tough day, you should rest. Let me go! 
It's her. Are you finished? Yeah, I've caught her. Ugh. She was kind of jumpy, so I tied her up. No, you've done qu you've done a good job. Let's go to the helicopter. Continue our mission. The director can take it from here. What's wrong, Ryotaro? Doesn't matter. Are we really just gonna cut this- cut out for are we really cut out for this, Kaisuke? We're members of the Kisaragi Foundation. We're just following orders, that's all. I understand. Sora! Sora! Dude. What? What happened? Sora. You're as hard as a statue. It's you. I told you, didn't I? That I would look forward to the results. How are you? This is so unsettling. Do you regret it? Are you in despair? This is our destiny. This is the result we were given. That is why I warned you. Did you really believe that you could be forgiven? I understand now. I finally understand everything. The person called Sora never existed. From the beginning, the prerequisite to be with everyone else was wrong. Kane Tyra knew this from the start. If so, I... Are you serious, Kinjo? Soda. Yes. Our job here is finished. There's nothing left to do. Let's give up on Yuki? What are you talking about? What? Good. What a reasonable choice. Wait, Kinjo, are you crazy? Without even telling the intelligence team, you're gonna you're going beyond acting alone now. Are you really okay with this? Yuki and Maeda was the only reason we did this. No, we did this to protect the survivors while we dealt with those criminals. We've done what we need to. We can leave now. What do you mean the survivors? You arrested everyone, you idiot! This is what I'm talking about! The freaking Kisaragi Foundation is so stupid! <laughs> then Terio... What about everything he did? Oi. Rei. Yuki Maeda, Terio Otori. Don't let your personal feelings get in the way. Don't let yourself get swept away by your personal feelings. You'll be irrational. You're gonna repeat the same mistake you, ate, you made last time. <laughs> <sighs> the director is right. We have no idea where Yuki Maeda could be. To find him, we'd have to restart the program again. It means Mikado Sonoji would, would return. So what you want to do, Makaru? Could you deal with that? If he comes back, everything we've been working for would be nothing. Sir. If you understand, let's leave it. Mikado Sonoji is dead, most of the avoids are dead, and we rescued a survivor. What? How is Mikado dead? What are you talking about? Wait! Did they forcefully shut down the program? And, like, keep Mikado in there while it was forced, forcefully shut down. Is that what happened to Yuki? Is that why they can't find Yuki? They didn't actually take him out before... It's an acceptable conclusion. I mean, you killed Yuki in the process. I don't think that's an acceptable conclusion. Director, if it's all over, I want my payment. Shut up. Of course I remember your reward. The mission isn't over until the convoy is in the safe zone. You have your payment. Until then, shut up. Hi, hi. Yeah, yeah, you got it, boss. So my work here is done? It was quite a difficult job. Yeah, everybody, let's withdraw for now. Ray? I understand. What's up? Come on, Director. I'll escort you to the mainland. Shut up. Do not speak unless asked to, criminal. What is wrong with him? There is so much wrong with him. But is that really it? Are you kidding? Yeah, I want to save. Of course I want to save. Oh my god. What is happening? Hey. Utsuro. I should say it's been a while. Now, wouldn't it be better for you to talk? It's amazing. I missed you so much, I really wanted to see you again. Why can't I stop crying? It's normal. Nobody would like... Would like to see a boy like me again in this world. You're wrong. I'm happy. I'm so happy to see you again. But... 
some regrets still remain. You could say I'm foolish for being so shameless. My wish is to be with you forever. Only here to fulfill my promise, Utsura. Wait! Are you really just gonna let it end like this? Without doing anything? Without making a choice? Can you really accept this result? I can't! I know damn well I don't want this result! It's noisy over there. Utsura. What should I do? Why are you asking me that? That's your choice. I'm sorry. But this time I can't be alone. Akane Tyra. It's not too late. It's too early to let it end like this. It's for you to decide. That's what I said. You've always done this. Seems you've always depended on me. That's why you can't- you scream you can't be without me. But you've been acting on your own this whole time. Tell me, have I ever helped you decide? That's a good point. Come back, Akane Tyra. Without you, nothing begins and nothing ends. Don't run away. If you come back, I won't stop you from doing anything. Just one more time. Please lend me your power. No matter what you choose, I won't stop you. It's okay to come back when everything is over. If you don't want to, you can come with me. Nobody can decide for you. You deserve a chance to choose for yourself. Choose whatever you want. Sora or Master Utsuro. I'm not picking Utsuro. I choose. Are they going to give me a choice? Take Utsuro's hand. Bro, if you take this dude's hand, there is something wrong with you. He is evil incarnate. No, I'm taking Sora's hand. Oh, they ask you if you want to. Can I save right now? I can't. <laughs> I'm taking Sora's hand. Utsuro is bad. No, I'm not touching his hand, dude. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Utsuro. Just a little. Watch me- watch it be the wrong choice. Watch me have made the wrong choice. Just a little. Please wait a little longer. Wait, is there a wrong choice? Are there branching- I'll t Probably not, but I'll- maybe I'll check it later. Who knows? After all. Why are you apologizing? I told you. You decide your own path. Go back. Lastly, there's one thing I want to ask. Utsuro, are you just a part of my imagination? Are you really Utsuro? If you're asking that, you should already know the answer. You do not need me to answer it for you. I like that answer. I like that answer a lot. Go away. Get it done. Go do what you need to do. Utsuro. Thank you. Nanda. What is this? What? Why is everyone punched up? What is happening? Oi. Ryotaru, Kaisuke, I remember telling you to go to the helicopter. Boss. Director, there's a problem. The door won't open. What? Excuse me? Oops, maybe someone touched something they shouldn't have. What? Hey, what's going on? No. No fucking way. It can't be. It's irrational to be surprised. However, the power to produce an impossible result, you should know that power all too well. Who said that? That voice. Shit. What? Somebody catch that crook. Kaisuke, please wait here with everyone. Okay. What is happening? Um... Oh my god. Nice to meet you, Kisaragi Foundation. Mikado Sinoji? Hey, what's the meaning of this Saibai? He should be dead. I guess they didn't do it right. Something went wrong. Saibai, betraying your moral code, it's wrong. You betrayed me for money. Thanks to that, things have become more complicated. Don't be so heartbroken. As you said, I follow the cash. Kisaragi Foundation just had a more moolah. Nothing personal. Doesn't matter. The process doesn't matter, but the results are that I'm alive. How? I was able to restart the Neo World program, you must be asking. I have admin rights. You can't kill me by disconnecting me. <laughs> nah, I don't know what happened, though. That's right. Well, I never would have imagined that you would have put a code that bypasses security and closes the program from the outside. Wait, so is what I said true? If you close the program when people aren't disconnected the right way, do they just die? Are they stuck in there forever? Would that, like, lead them to die? Is that what they intended to do to Mikado? 
Wait, Kinjo, what are they talking about? Shut up, this isn't the time for explanations. The method I used allowed me to be honest. I don't know. What do you mean you don't know? What? When the Neo World program was closed and the emergency power was cut, my, sh my death should have been certain. Should have been. Well, no need to worry about the details. As a result, I've risen from the dead. So the activation of the security system was your doing. Indeed. This laboratory is like my second body. What? The wires are my blood vessels and the electricity that flows through is my blood and the computer is my brain. Operating the security system is just as easy as breathing for me. What is this guy talking about? This can't be unless someone deliberately, deliberately restarted the emergency power. This should be impossible. Nah. Director, apart from us, everyone else is in this building is in the entrance, right? Soda. Correct. Not including the troops outside surrounding the perimeter, everyone is inside. Unless... It's useless to suspect somebody from the Foundation. Only three of us ever went into the emergency power room. Then one of you lot turned it on. What was that? There's no other explanation. It's gotta be one of you two. Huh, I understand now. The culprit is you! The contract we made was a lie you were working with Mikado this whole time! This sprite gives me chills. There, 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 like, there's something, there's so much wrong with Kinjo. He should not be the director of this foundation. He is, there's so much wrong with him. You're the only one who could have done it, filthy scum. This is why I don't trust criminals. Everyone shut up, stop jumping to conclusions. You really think the culprit matters now? We still have a massive problem on our hands. No matter what somebody is planning, we have to act now or this will all be for nothing. If you have time to be wasting arguing, then you should use it to think of what we should do. Ugh. Huh. Looks like Ray's the smartest one here. Don't bother even trying to understand what happened. I don't know myself after all. This is such a BS way for him to come back. Are you serious? But you don't need to worry yourselves. I have no intention of harming any of you. I mean, I guess this was necessary to bring back Yuki. Wait, where is Yuki? Don't try to sh shamelessly bullshit us. This isn't the time, Surugi. Mikado, what do you want from us? You must need us for something since you went out of the way to since you went out of your way to contact us, right? Proposal, you could call it. I still intend to carry out my initial plans to resurrect Utsuro. You all know this by now, yes? According to my initial plan, the resurrection of Utsuro should have already been complete. Glad you all enjoyed our lunch break, but it's time to return now. To return? But there's no need to worry about this backup plan of mine. It will be beneficial to you as well. Drop the detours and get to the point. First, I want my actors to reprise their roles. What? I'm referring to Yuriko, Iraha, and Sayobai, who have all returned... Who have all returned to the real world. Three of them will, will return to the virtual world. Because said people left, the killing school trip is currently on hold, as if time stopped. You want us to go back in there? Are you kidding me? Correct. Furthermore, I would request the two members of the Kisaragi Foundation take the stage as well. Us too? I refuse. Ah, oh, like, what? Who, who would go back in here willingly? Are you kidding me? Huh. I only hear your words as a call for us to come in there and die. Entering the Neo World program and being in reality, there's no difference, you hear me? I agree. Besides, I already betrayed you once, so I've lost all my credibility with you. I've seen what you're capable of. No thanks. <laughs> I understand your caution. However, I said I would not hurt them, did I not? And if you two enter as well, wouldn't you have a special advantage over me? Is that the force shutdown? Yeah, that happened in the second game. Force shutdown. He's talking about the one used on Jabberwock Island. Yes, yeah, so with the consent of more than half the users, the force shutdown will activate. Since Saiba and I are counted as administrators, we do not count to this total. In other words, you have half of 13, 7, which means you could simply enter and end the Neo World program. That is 7, that 7 is including our dear Rei and Tsurugi, of course. So if we enter and you try something, we could just activate the force shutdown? Wait, why are you believing that? Most of that is correct. However, this is a modified version of of the Neo World program, meaning that it won't be the same as it was on Jabberwock Island. With this, you expect us to jump into the lion's den by entering a system we, ne we know next to nothing about? No, the force shutdown would work. I told you, Director, I've inspected the software inside and out. I'm the one who modified the system, so I should know. In fact, that's how I was able to manually disconnect myself, so I can guarantee it. No. There's still no reason for us to take the risk and enter ourselves. Our fight with you is over. The survivors have been rescued and the killing game is over. There's no reason to take the risk? That's what you said, right? What? Instead of wasting my words, why don't I just show you a reason? Take the stage, Yuki? 
How it? Is anyone there? Sora, Yurgo, anyone? Where is everyone? I can't see. It's so dark. Please, someone help. Anyone who is ever there, please help me. Dude, Yuki Maeda. Dude, they gotta be somewhere else. They gotta be connected to the world at some other point. There's... There's a giant bug on my window. Hold on. That was such horrible timing. Oh my gosh. Surugi, Ray, this is the Yuki you've been looking for. You wouldn't leave him all alone here, right? He's just a poor victim dragged into all this. Yes, a victim who was sacrificed for divine luck. The Kisaragi Foundation was founded to help those in need, was it not? Shut your mouth, you filthy criminal. But there's more. If you don't enter the virtual world, the doors are going to remain shut. This lab just so happened to be built in an abandoned nuclear shelter. From the inside or outside, no matter what, it would be impossible for them to open the door. You'll be trapped here for the rest of your lives. Wait a moment, I'll contact the rest of the Foundation. Do you really think I, I let the, wa the radio wave stay up? Try all you want, but your radio simply won't function. The only way out of here is to do what I say or else. Yes, I'll have no choice but to blow up the island next to this laboratory. Of course if I did that, they wouldn't be safe. Dude, what the- Also, it's not just Yuki you should fight for. Shouldn't you be fighting for your dear Terria too? Dude, shut up. That brat was so annoying, he kept resisting until the bitter end. You wouldn't want poor Terria's death to be in vain. You should properly resolve the situation for him. Shut up, damn it. Should you accept my proposal, I'll even explain how you can fight me. Shut your damn- Oh my god. You're- you, He's the one who said not to, like, get too heated. And now he's getting too heated. Damn, Sarugi. Damn it. Why? This should all be over now. This is why- What? Are you okay? I'm fine. Nah. Director, so what do you want to do? We're caught in this guy's trap. I don't know how he managed it, but he's back. Do we accept his proposal and fall deeper into his trap? Or do we starve to death in this lab? Ray. What should I do? Why are you asking her? It's strange to hear you say that. You must be desperate. Well, we'd be risking the lives that we saved so far, as well as our own. However, if he really wanted to kill us, he would have done it already. But if you think about it, for him to say all of this means he's confident he'll win. Don't with a guy like that, we're fucked either way. There's no other options, each one is just despair. Sir. Don't forget, we're not the only ones in this lab. Kaisuke and Ryotaro are here too, and the survivors we locked up. The majority and minority, it's obvious. Is that so? I'm sorry, Rin. We're going in. Hi, hi. I knew you'd say that. So, have you made your decision? Yes. Mock me while you still can. This time I will definitely kill you. Oh, scary. <laughs> what? This is... This is so much. This is ridiculous. Wait, I haven't decided what I want to do yet. You dare defy me? Dude, this sprite! Get it! Get him out of here! Shut up and follow us. Consider this an extension of our contract. An extra 20% on top of your initial payment. Would that suffice? 30%. 25. Nothing more. Both of you shut up. You're making my head hurt. Oh, I think you're right. Anyway, there's no other way out of here, so let's get started. <sighs> Good. First bring Yuriko and Iroha here. And take all three of them, including Saibai, back to their original connectors. Ray and Surugi, use the spare connectors in the electrical, electrical room. I will guide you as soon as you enter the program. So let us meet again in New Tsurushima. Dude, what is this? There's so much happening. Are you really okay with this, Surugi? It's not like we have a choice. The last time, we will end this. Call the crew. Bring in the survivors. Alright. We gotta do this. We really don't have a choice. Director, you can't. This has to be some sort of trap. We're fine, let's just stay here and wait for help from HQ. Damn it. No, I will finish this right here and now. I will not accept anything else. I will save them. Us. I'm the leader of this foundation. I hope you don't regret this. Please come back safely. It's Haro. Even you... It's okay, Kaisuke. This is the last time we have to deal with this. Our void problem will end today. When this is all over, let's have dinner together. We're gonna die. Huh? You don't know Mikado like I do. He's dangerous. We... We're done for. We're all gonna die. No matter what we do, we're right. dead. Kaisuke, Ryotaro, tie the girl and put her into the connector. 
Okay. Uh, this is horrible. It's time. Let's go. No one here is happy with any of these people's actions. Everyone here is mad at each other in some way. Wait for us. So it's kind of weird that we all have to work together against a common enemy. I mean, I guess it gives us more incentive to actually survive. Yeah, there's four connectors here. I'm telling you, they have to be, um... What are their names? Uh, Mikado and Yuki. Mikado and Yuki have to be somewhere. What, Psycho Officer? It's been a long time. That's true. And what have you done in that time apart from tear down and destroy? I'm sorry, I have nothing else to say. In the end, things went wrong and I dragged you into this again. It's not the first time. I'm used to this now. So stop worrying yourself. I still need an explanation from you. I know. But if I don't calm down, we'll just be defeated. Well, I'll be counting on you. Sir. We're going in, now. <sighs> wow. It's time to end this. Wow. Dude, this is so cool! Rah. Aura, Sora. Wake up, Sora. Again? Oh my gosh. Sora, are you okay? Huh? Yurika? Sora, is it really you? I'm not dreaming? Yeah. Sora! Ah, oh, I'm so happy to see you again, thank god. Yuriko, calm down. Okay. Alright. Okay. Before anything happens, I know this is horrible. I know. But I'm gonna end the episode here. We've been playing for like three hours, dude. It's been so long. I've been playing across like two days. It's been so long. I will finish this right away, though. I will upload the next part right away so while while this is like when you see this the next video will be in the process of uploading so don't worry you guys will get the full story so do not worry at all i will finish this all at once so thank you everyone for watching uh leave a like comment subscribe let me know what you guys are thinking of the content so far and i will see you all next time see ya You win! Perfect!